Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 93 of the Red Force Podcast. My name is Eric Tolado. Join me today, Christian Tolado. I'm here, uh, you know, early in the morning, uh, daylight savings, not good for anyone. No one knows why it exists, no, no one knows no. why it's what it's for. You know, it's for, apparently for farmers, no one cares about farmers, alright? Uh, why are we going to ruin our day for farmers, you know? Sure. Yep. Special guest, Christian, this week. Yeah. Now... After coming on our show, they started a podcast together, which I think is interesting. That's, yeah, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> Whoa, time out, time out. This is how you're starting this podcast? <laughs> Firing shots at your guests? Joining us today, Mr. Borge and O'Hara. <laughs> Hello, guys. I warned about this. Right. Some, yeah, some hey, say... This, is, <laughs> this stuff's not cryptid. <laughs> some say... It's all fun and game before the podcast started. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. This week... Chapter, you know, how can you compete with last week, all right? People, you got to relax a little bit, all right? You can't so, compete what, with last gonna... week. You know how you compete with last week? How? You don't give us a bullshit cliffhanger. Oh, uh, okay. Kush is mad. with last week. Kush uh-huh. is very upset, all right. Uh, we got, we got, what have we got? Topic of the show, Christian's also dismantling this what? chapter. And topic of the show as well. No, 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 no topic of the show is SBS. Topic of the show is SBS. Uh, okay. Uh, we've got Power Scale, we've got Shanks, uh, what questions. else is going on? We've got questions. Uh, did you guys watch the anime episode? Yeah. Oh. Uh, no. there's a good Red Hawk, that's about it, you know? Not yet. Good Red Hawk. How's the anime going in general right now? Because I've seen clips of the animation, and the animation looks amazing. Like, I watched yeah, for, Hawkins vs. Zoro happens, and such. It happens, like, for five seconds every two episodes, and everyone just clips it, and they say one is amazing. But when you actually uh, watch it, it's uh, it's not that great. But you know, pacing, pacing is bad. Pacing is like a quarter chapter level right now. We got so... two, we got two pages this week. What? Yeah, yeah. It, the whole, the whole, the whole episode was Luffy doing a Red Hawk against Hold'em and Zoro taking the cart. That was two pages. In the manga, that was the entire episode. Well, I mean, like. I guess... Isn't that what people ask for to extend the fights? Yeah, but extend it in <laughs> ways they like. Not no, just... like <laughs> they were standing there cracking their necks for thirty seconds. Like, oh it's, right, it's getting. See that on Reddit. Someone commented about that. But clearly, they are stalling for Luffy versus Kaido, which will be fantastic. Oh, yeah, sure. Also, Act Two generally had like like Act One was like really short chapters, like one scene chapters. But Act Two has like chapters where a lot of shit goes on in it. So the pacing will probably fix itself then, because then they can focus on more stuff yeah. in a given chapter. So I don't know. Hopefully, it fixes itself. Hopefully, uh, I have no doubt that uh, the Luffy vs. Kaido will be very good. Now, shall we move into the chapter? Uh, do you uh yeah we'll move into the chapter. Alright. Chapter Started. 958. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's yes. right. Yes. The that's promised port. Yep. Uh, what have we got on the front cover? We got Lola, apparently on Dressrosa. Uh, theories here, married to Lucky Roo. I don't know. What is it, you know? Where's this going to lead? Why are we back on Dressrosa? What does anyone want us to tell us? I don't know. There you go. We got cover page. Any sure. thoughts on this color cover page? No? I mean, it's a cover story. Yeah. Well, you know, what's going to happen? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Heading somewhere. Like, Junbei had a really boring cover story for a bit, and then it led to a pony glyph. So, I don't know. Yeah. So. Is this going to surpass, Christian? Yeah. The cover stories that we had with the Columbus. Of the short- Olumbus. Olumbus is a cover story. That's a great cover story. <laughs> Remember Olympus. When he's with his folding his his pajamas and uh, getting ready. It to... was a little bit short though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> only eight weeks. Yeah. yeah, only eight weeks of nothing. <laughs> only eight weeks of nothing. All right. So we start the chapter with a Roger flashback. Everyone excited. We get a Roger flashback. Uh, Odin on Roger's ship. He's still a silhouette. Um, you know. This is this is ridiculous at this point. He's <laughs> come. On. Right. What's going on? Uh, is this, correct, is this... me, correct, me, correct me if I'm wrong, boys, but this is the first time this has happened. Of just constant silhouettes? Of, yeah, yeah. Of, this, of, this, of this degree. I, well, I guess there's a purpose for that, no? Yeah, uh, maybe. Why is his, des- his design so shrouded in mystery? It either has to be someone we know, or like, 
it's that high that it has to be hidden. Like Okay, Ohara and I literally just talked about this and I guess we're on different sides of the fence because I think lots of people are building theories around the silhouette. Which might be right, like maybe there's a big reason for why it's being hidden. But like no. I personally just the sense I've gotten is that Oda really likes Odin's character and he's really excited to draw Odin's character. So he's saving yeah. it for like the actual start of Odin's story. So he doesn't want to just like like I think he cares about showing us Odin. I, yeah. I in think a specific we're gonna see like that. I think I think this flashback is going to be is going to surpass the Skypea flashback in length. This is gonna be a ridic- ridiculously long flashback. We will see him as a child and grow into a man. Uh, how, he recruited, Doji, go how, on, how, how, he, how he recruited all these characters, why is there an emotional connection to all these characters? You know, it's going to be real yeah, long, yeah. and then we're going to see him agree. and then die. It's going, be, it's going to be like 15 chapters all right. of this flashback. So this Roger flashback. Odin on the ship, on Roger's final voyage, so is Shanks and Buggy. This so, is after uh, the final voyage, before the Great Pirate Era. Exactly. So Shanks and so Buggy went to Raftel, there you go. But yeah. can it be like during the final voyage? Yeah, it's during the final voyage, so it's the final voyage. Mm, oh, it's during the final no, voyage. I thought you no, said it's after. Yeah. It's no, after it's the during. final voyage because Odin's getting off the ship before the Great Pirate Era. No, I think so it's he's... during also, because Crocus was there for the entire thing, right? Yeah, I don't... I, oh, I, no, I, I read it as during, because it's 25 years. It's 25 years later. No, yeah, I, I forget... No, there's a year gap where uh, the crew disbanded, and then after a year, Roger... And himself, and himself in. No. Yeah. So Roger died 22 years ago, right? Yeah. So 25 years year gap ago, here. then it's still during the... It's, this is it's still during be, the... Yeah, it's going to be during the final voyage. So what, he got off before he went to Raftel? He got he off, he's, off like, he's, just, he's just talking about it. He's not talking about it going back yet. He's just talking about his, his mission. Uh, he's not saying, I'm going I mean, back to Wano right now. He's just saying, oh, you know, I have this dream about Wano. It just gotten on, actually. Who knows? No, yeah. I mean it so, doesn't make doesn't make too much sense, does it? Because Odin was the one who had to, like, read the opponent blues. Yeah, voice of all things, you know. <sighs> we don't, you know, we don't actually know what. Maybe he could, maybe Roger like could read it. He couldn't write it. So, what was that moment? Yeah, I don't like that. I I like the it back when Robin was the only one who could do it. I don't like that Luffy <laughs> could potentially read the opponent blues himself. You know what I'm saying? I think he couldn't, and I think Roger also. Like I think. I don't think that Roger could read the pony glyphs yeah, and be can, like, oh yeah, we have to take a left there. Can Luffy, can Luffy even <laughs> he can like... interpret it well, but he kind of gets it. Can Luffy know. even read in general? Is that confirmed? That's yes. true. That yeah, is... <laughs> yeah I think he... that's confirmed. No, I'm pretty he, sure he can. He read books in a uh, filler episode. Okay. And he read what you're talking he about. Reads he reads, reads the newspaper. Sure he reads the new, newspaper, yeah. for sure. But for he sure. kind of just reads numbers, Just look at the pictures. Yeah, he kind of just reads numbers. And looks at the pictures, so... Does Luffy um, numbers. Yeah. numbers. Yeah. yeah, okay. For him, he even got his bounty wrong the first time. He's like, oh, my bounty got went down, so... I don't yeah. know, dude. I think his reading's up there for his hardest skills. Alright, uh, is this the first time we get the characterization of Roger drinking too much? Yes. So, I don't no, know. The, that... I think the first time we really got, like... Didn't we really hear about Roger... Like a little bit more intensely the first time in a bar in uh, Locktown. <laughs> sure, but like. Oh, true. But that was also filler. <laughs> that was yes. filler. That was filler. Oh, that's yeah. true. That's true. Foreshadowing. So, a little bit of Roger characterization here. He likes to have now, a good time. Likes now, to drink. people, people yeah. on specific uh, chat rooms and okay. secret cabal okay. messages right. and and hidden and hidden rooms were no, but the public can't see discussions. Okay. All right. Some people were saying that the Roger Pirates don't like each other. They got nothing to do with each other. They're not friends. Why would people Odin, be saying this? Odin wasn't Some friends people. with uh, Roger. What? Uh, the Roger Pirates aren't hmm. that close because they don't see each other after they disbanded. Now, I'll give you two seconds to guess who this was, Christian. Was it uh, Drutz Kuhn? Yes, oh, Drutz okay. Kuhn. Classic. Yeah. The, man with, the man with the dead heart, the cold heart. Okay, well, um, the the evil pirate crew of the rocks had that situation. So why would the good pirate crew have that situation? No, clearly it's supposed to parallel Luffy and Shanks', and Shanks crew, is crew also. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So I don't know why people assumed that they wouldn't. But like the way Rayleigh talks Nakama. about Roger, like why would people assume that? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, and also I'm actually not that sure if it's true about 
rocks in the first place as well. Yeah, like, um, I, they say they like, they fought like cats and dogs, but that well, might have been yeah, after. Yeah, but after then the like it's it's like secondhand information from the Marines, and we know like the likes of Whitebeards were there, and Whitebeards not like the guy who just like joins a yeah. crew just I was for the I was fun. talking I was talking about this with uh, Christian last week, but what do you guys think? Why would Rod? Why would Whitebeard join this crew just to have a family? Like, or for I, his own ambition? I personally. Well, do you want to go first, March or? You good. I actually don't have a good theory for it. Yeah. Well, for me personally, I think that um, the Rock Pirates, they, they maybe were not like Luffy close, but I think they were not as hostile to each other as the Marines think they are. I think they're just like comprised of a lot of very strong personalities yeah. that were conflicting after they broke up. But I think having Whitebeard in there, having Big Mom in there, who had like Big Mom became untrusting of people, but like her dream is still good in a quirky way if you know what i mean yeah mm -hmm. so i feel like that's people who came together to change the world in a way and um maybe they were they had a more twisted view on things that well i think it's, it's simple enough to explain than... it's simple enough to explain kato big mom you know our power want to take over the world etc etc but yeah. why it's more complex it's kind of like maybe him as a character being like oh this is this is a family unit i'll accept it in a way Maybe that was like his first family in a way. I don't know. Maybe, because maybe. I mean, people say like the like, like the way it sounds like it. It feels like the the great pirate era is when like lots of like commonplace to be pirates and have like large pirate crews. Yeah. And back in the day, maybe it was only the very strongest kind of. Yeah. Why like rocks was it's a pirate? Like all the big names were in rocks, or you were part of Rogers. Well, if you so, think like, about it, all the uh, all the emperors are kind of. You know, born around the New World, or the old emperors. You know, Whitebeard born in the New World, Big Mom born in the New. Oh, you know, Albaf. You know, Kaido speculation that he was born on uh, Wano. So Kaido in the egg. This chapter. Yeah, Kaido in the oh, egg. Yeah. This chapter, yeah. <laughs> so it also old... makes no sense considering he was part of Rocks, which was long before that. Yeah, no, no, don't yeah. worry about it. A Ro Orochi in the egg. Who knows? <laughs> Orochi is in the egg. I'm, I was. I'm. I'm telling you that egg is just. A building troll with a room in it. Yeah, yeah, it just has a door on it. It just is painted like an egg. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you know, Buggy and Shanks hanging out with Odin, having a good time. Uh, you know, Red Taro, Red Taro, Buggy Jiro. You know, Buggy not happy about that nickname. Classic Buggy antics. Uh, so they are they're asking about Wano. Uh, Odin does not want help. With his clan's issues from anyone, from the Rogers Pirates, from anyone, which is interesting. Mm. What, do you, what do we think about that? He doesn't want help. He wants to do it with well, his clan. Uh, it makes sense. Samurai honor, Kazuki matters. Yeah, but he's he's kind of like this character that has an open mind because he you know wants to open the borders, but he won't. Sure, but I think he knows the situation in Wano won't allow, won't get, do him any favors by letting inviting Roger, pirates. Yeah, inviting pirates in there because he knows he won't be Shogun because he abandoned them. Okay. So, yeah, I think that, um, that's fine enough. I don't know. I feel like he was still on the track to become also, a Shogun, right? Yeah, but like he says in the official, I, he doesn't expect to be... And he, and he wants to pass on his will. Yeah, he wants yeah. to pass on his will in 20 years, which is like, all right. So, so you guys read the official, yeah? More than I skimmed the official for certain quotes, basically. So, yep. and I saw the links that you posted. So yeah, I don't so remember exactly. At that. the end of the I'm flashback, yeah. At the end of the flashback, Owen states he will open the borders in twenty years. So, uh, and he'll pass so on his world because there. he can't become Shogun. Yeah. Now this also uh, implies that the, the Roger Pirates know about this plan in twenty years. That's true. Now we're missing five years. But that could have been filled up by Neko and Anu talking to the Roger Pirates. Maybe Shanks, Christian. I mean, you know my you know my theory on Wano, how it's the final war, how everyone's gonna be here, you know. Sure. So if we can get Shanks here, we can get Shanks here, you know. There's a way in, there's now, a way in. This Roger Pirates reunion dream of mine, Christian. Is Scott it possible? Yes. Will Scott we? Bond, shit. Will he ever is have a spoken line? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Maybe, we'll, maybe we'll teach Luffy gold hockey, Christian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. I don't but know. This, yeah. Uh, this Roger Pirates union is it possible, yes? Is it likely? We'll have to wait and see. I don't know. So, I mean, I could definitely see Shanks making his way to Wano for other reasons. Sort of depending, like, I don't know if it was always in the plan that basically the Roger Pirates would help make this will uh Sure. But if Dream. more action starts diverting towards Wano, then that could bring other I characters think, to Wano. I think it makes sense, because, like, before this, we had um, Ino Arashi and Osho Doji question why it had to be 20 years uh, for them to wait. And I think, like, does it make sense that Whitebeard, Shanks, Rayleigh would just sit there and watch Kaido destroy Wano? Yeah. And and not avenge their friend? There has to be a reason. Hard to also, say. There's more to it, yeah. Hard because, to say. Okay, so one thing is basically, like, you remember uh, there was a cover story that showed Crocus drinking with, with someone. Um, someone from Wano. So there is some connection still going on there. But at the same time, I don't know if for sure, basically, everybody separates. I don't know if... Um, like, obviously, those bonds are always there forever, but... Yeah. And everything like that, I don't know if there's this sort of um, drive that, really, okay, we yeah. have to go back. Unless and, they're so waiting for his son to return 20 years later. Via maybe. Yeah, maybe. Like, I do think that both possibilities are... Like, I don't think it would be weird if, they, if Rayleigh is not driven to go take down Kaido after Odin dies, but... Like, you know, have being... I guess it's like, you know, the white bear pirates are waiting for Momonosuke because they know the Kazuki clan's required to also, fucking what whatever. Also, was, what was the, the no to Luffy from Marco? Could it oh, be like, could it be like expect people to show up or something? Because of his 20 year prophecy? Says, it, it, it's just going to say Shanks will turn up. That's all the, uh, what the note, says. note says. Yeah. Well, if Nekomamushi ever turns up, maybe we'll find out. Well, you know? Nekomamushi in or should have relationships with Shanks and the Roger Pirates as well. And what? And Whitebeard's crew, yeah. yeah. Well, we know they do already. Yeah. So the Whitebeard Pirates and the Roger Pirates should turn up if they're going to turn up. Yeah. The, yeah, this reminds me of like, it's like a VV situation if Alabaster got attacked again. Like, as soon as the straw yeah, had Luffy to know, would go. Like, Luffy, Luffy would, go. would turn up. Yeah. Yeah, so, but it depends, like, how long after. So, for example, like, Luffy, Ace, and Sabo are brothers. And, yeah, like, yeah. when Ace was going to be executed, Luffy was like, I'm going to put everything on the line to go save him. But let's say, you know, Sabo didn't make it to the war, for example. I don't think Sabo is going around with the drive, like, okay, I didn't. So my goal is now to go kill the Blackbeard pirates. Like, I think he specifically said that to Burgess. So it's kind of, you know what I mean? Just because you have that strong bond. Yeah. Save Odin at the time, that doesn't mean that, okay, now we have to be driven to go avenge Odin no matter what, because everybody accepts that in this world you live your own life to a certain degree, and if, you know, bad fate befalls you, like, obviously we'll try and stick your neck out to help your friends, but it is your own destiny to a certain degree. So it, it I see both possibilities in that sense. Yeah, uh, and I, also like... I think, sorry. Well, I, I think, think you, you go ahead. I think you, I think you also shouldn't forget that Roger was also act like, captured and executed by the marines but in the end there was an explanation for this yeah and yeah. there was an explanation while obviously no one tried to stop him because in the end it turned out he handed himself in and so we i mean it may it might be a little bit far far well, fetched uh, to say that odin's still alive but we still don't know under which circumstances he actually died well, one piece is about people's will right so no no character would stop anyone's will if it was you know their friend if it's their will to die, then it's their will to die, which is why they wouldn't stop Roger. Sure, but if we're, but looking, like, at, if we're looking at Odin, right? Who inherited Odin's will? Momonosuke, uh, Momonosuke I guess. Like, Scabbards in general. Like, that's the whole thing. We're opening the borders yeah. of Wano country because of our Sorry. captain going to Avengers. Still don't know why, really, the borders were closed. Still no, don't know why. Odin, apparently. Still don't know why Odin wants to open the borders, really. I'm yeah. telling you... I'm what, excited for yeah. this backstory. It's going to be great backstory. Bro, yeah, I'm Christian, telling you. Do, uh, I'm telling you. The fucking... Ancient weapons on Wano. It's been hidden oh, here yeah. for centuries. They closed the Which borders because they didn't want people to have the ancient weapon. Uh, the ancient weapons of Terraformer, that's how they rose one out of the ocean. This all this kind the, of shit, alright? This is a theory right here, alright? Well, wait, oh, you think Uranus is a Terraformer? I think Uranus is a Terraformer. 
Look at Wano. It it's irregular in every way. It's the culmination of Ireland. I mean, it's, it's one lifted piece, out of the like, ocean. Like, uh, that's not really. I think that's a. <laughs> hey, have you seen the what? Uh, what are you saying? Uranus crafted the One Piece world. The, the, uh, the way. It is? I mean, you know, maybe I don't know. Okay. But you look at the crazy weather. You look at like, de- like if you if you just open the borders politically, right? Or let's just say the borders are open. How is that? Doesn't really have a panel impact of lowering Wano into the ocean, so the borders are actually open instead of having this massive stone wall. You have to go up waterfalls. Uh, so like, do you guys? I feel like it, I feel like the Wano has to sink back into the ocean for it to have any impact. I agree with Christian on that, but I actually think that, so usually with a, I actually made a video about this like a while back, like usually with Luffy's fights, what he does, the final act is something really impactful, impactful yeah. or something really big, right? That, that, yes. uh, you know, knocking Crocodile out from underground or um, almost destroying Noah, ringing the bell, that sort of thing. Yeah. So right now it has to get, it has to come back to the ground, I suppose, for its borders to open. Yeah. So could the final act involve basically you know, Wano's got those two pillars on the side, I suppose, that are kind of keeping it. What? Uh, Onigashima and the and Manfuji. I think mean, that, that, that's just a diagram, though, cut in half. I'm, I don't know how many waterfalls there are, but... You know the setup is... Yeah, you're right, you're right. That makes more sense. So I don't really know what the setup is, but is there a way that, like, the final blow against... First Hyder of all, could the, the, the water would have to be drained first, otherwise Wano no, would just... flood. You just push it down it's hard the water falls back into the ocean. It's fine. I don't know about, I don't know about that. It's fine. <laughs> but, it be, uh, I agree that it has to be something that, like, well, yeah. Politically, I think, like, literally, Wano's borders need to open in a way. This reminds so, really me. This reminds me exactly of Sky Pier, where the bell wasn't really known and what it was what it was about and what it what it symbolized. Right. You, well, you could say so, the bell. You could say the bell is similar to opening water. Wano's Wano's borders right yeah so we'll find out about the fucking borders and what happened in Ryuma flashback ancient history shit what happened why it had to be raised and then in the fire with luffy or maybe after the battles or someone uses the weapon the 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 borders fall down and then we get that you know that parallel between Ryuma but, and i mean we're about kind of to enter a war you think this would be set up beforehand well we're gonna get the Ryuma flashback we're gonna get the owner flashback yeah, but you the know, characters have to. The characters have to learn about it. Yeah, but Lucas, and, they, didn't, they didn't learn about it in Sky PR. Like only Robin did. So what? Luffy's just gonna hit Kaido into the thing. Well, that, look, look well, at Sky PR. Well, like think, it was important to it was important to one character, yeah. right? And then we didn't like Luffy didn't know the it historical context. So like it could, the Wano could be the same. Like Luffy doesn't uh, have to know the historical context. And we find we be... find that that information at the end of the arc. Do you guys think the ancient weapon's going to be actually used in real time, or they're just going to be law building for the past? I mean, sure, she has been used, so... Yeah, I guess. No, the ancient weapons definitely well... have to be used, in my opinion. Yeah. Okay. So, so what, uh, like, the Navy has one, the Shaw Hats have, have one, Blackbeard has the other, or what? Because mm, the Shaw Hats so... can't, can't have all three, surely. <laughs> sure. So I personally think that Frankie's going to build Pluton. Um, so the Straw Hats wouldn't have the literal Pluton, but they would have Pluton. Pluton yeah. Now, Borge, do you know the the uh, confusion out there that Frankie apparently right has the had the blueprints to the countermeasure to Pluton, not to Pluton? See, I've re- where did that come up? I think I saw a Joy Boy tweet about that, possibly. Yeah, yeah, it's been a longer standing confusion going on. Okay, I don't know if that's a long standing confusion or if that's actually. I actually have to go back and reread that arc. We had people write in translation. Sa- we had people write in saying it's confirmed. We actually have to read the volume now. Christian has the volumes. Christian, that's true. you didn't read it during the week. No. I requested that you did. I mean, we'll do the research eventually. You know, we just keep on saying we're doing the work. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I imagine Frankie's gonna build it the thing the the one thing is viz translations are yeah. not good prior to chapter like 630 when they switch to an actually good translator yeah, that is like true. i treat them in the same light as the scans like it's, it's just like another trans- yeah okay. so mm-hmm. in fact they were terrible early on so whatever the viz is saying i don't unless it's after chapter 630 when they switched at uh translators it's yeah it's not like i don't actually trust it shout out so, to rogue town yep shout out to zolo, shout out to zolo. You know, they don't even have the Marines. They call them fighting sailors back in the day. 
What the fuck? Oh, sorry. No cursing on this. No, you let it. You let curse. What do you mean? I don't know. Oh, we don't, we, don't give a, we don't give a fuck, mate. <laughs> <laughs> forgot who I'm talking to. Alright. Alright, um... Anyway, where so, are we at? Yeah, my theory that the Ancient Weapons of Wano also explains where Blackbeard's going because he doesn't want the Ancient Weapon to fall into Marine hands. And somehow Blackbeard yeah, knows. I don't know why Blackbeard knows. But, you know, Blackbeard knows a lot of things. So. Apparently Blackbeard's gonna know how to get a third Delphi as well, Christian. Oh, exactly. Blackbeard knows a lot of things, alright? Don't worry about Blackbeard. Why doesn't he have 20 Delphi if he has 3? Why stop at 3? Wants yeah. three really good ones. Yeah. <laughs> maybe it, maybe it drains his life energy and he can't have twenty. You know, who knows? So anyway, let's get to the waste of time that the next half of the chapter is. All right. Twenty five years later, Orochi leaves Habu. Is a Habu? Habu port and travels to Onigashima. Kirishiro left behind to guard the capital. Uh, my boy Zoro ain't gonna find him apparently, which is. A hundred confirmed good guy. Confirmed. Denjiro. He's going to release all the soldiers out of the cages, and there's going to be a riot in the capital. Uh, chaos ensues. What do you think about that? No comment? I mean, totally. Po like, it depends how you think Act 3 is going to go, right? So, can be freed. Um, we know that everybody hasn't really set sail just yet. Yeah. That being, like, the big uh, initial push, which is, like, while they've left, let's free up the capital, and then let's make our big push. Yeah. Yeah, okay. the fact that Kyoshi is still there indicates combat. I want to ask you guys a question, because I already talked about this to Morch, and I was really confused during my review when I did it on the chapter. Mm -hmm. Do you guys, did you guys see the Straw Hats in this chapter or not? No, there's no Straw Hats. Maybe okay, there's, yes. maybe Usopp's Is there an Usopp? Is there, maybe. because why draw that character that way if it's not Usopp? I mean, Maybe. it's so small and so, so cryptic. Uh, if, because if that is, like, first of all, I think, like, Oda isn't the kind of person who, like, d does that by accident. So either he's trying to imply something or it's actually Usopp. And if it were Usopp, my idea would be that they're actually, like, smuggling out the prisoners in that cart out of the city. Maybe. I is mean, there yeah, there's, that, I there's something yeah. in there. Where this yeah. is. It's, um... um it's when if they're in the they're in the um the storm and they're like what's happening and then they yeah. cut to the car. There's like a flashback to the. There might it's not be a flashback. It's same time. Oh, I see. What you're oh, yeah. oh, the dude on top of the car. Yeah, there might yeah. there might be a wild Usopp up there. Wild Usopp. I'll give it a maybe. Yeah, I mean Possibly. it kind of looks like Usopp, but like. It was, could, it's kind of like why draw that guy that way? Like I that could, is my yeah. question. If it's I could Usopp. see I could see the short hats busting out of there easily. Are they are they being ex exported straight into Onigashima? Yeah, maybe. And there is like they're also like asking like w what what is that like they're looking that, at like one of the citizens is looking not, at the constructions. Not in the official. Yeah, that's true. What they say in the official? That is true. Nothing? They're just uh nothing. They're just saying he her he her. Okay. All right. Are they really? Are they literally saying nothing? I have to reopen it. Then. Yeah, they're just singing. Looking at it. Yeah, it does say heave ho heave ho. And then somebody's saying, has something happened to everybody that's unrelated? That's, um, uh, probably, uh, fucking, what's his name? Why, why, for Kinemon? Yeah, Kinemon just panning over, basically. Yeah. But right. there's no, I mean, it could be a contrast. It's a, clearly a contrast shot to show absolute devastation versus absolute elation. But, I don't know. I'm inclined like, to agree, but, um. There's something in that car. I have no idea. There's something in there. I mean, yeah. that's obvious. There's something in it's there. Th we'll find it's three sticks of dynamite that'll blow up Onigashima. <laughs> and open the borders of Wano country at the same time. Yeah. 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 All. all right. So, also, what do you what do you guys think about Kiku's new armor? Because I think that was pretty dope. It's it looks pretty really, cool. It's cool. Yeah, it's the cool armor that, that everyone wanted. Wanted. Will today. Zoro get sweet armor? The Kabuto. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Luffy wanted it. I think I think Zoro's more like the the nudist kind of person, you know, yeah. fighting Do like he, he see his body shirtless, when he fights, yeah, topless, the road in, yeah. yeah. All Have right, to show the gains. Yeah, so there's a storm at Tokage Port. Oh no, the, the scabbards are losing it because there's a storm. Okay, the port looks like it was attacked. Uh, no one's picking up the phone. Aroji did something last night. End of chapter. What a cliffhanger! All right. Oh, wait. 
Oh the wait, this cliffhanger <laughs> makes no sense. Oh, well, and, and uh, is completely and Inu, fabricated. Inu's like, Inu's like, oh, I guess Neko didn't turn up. Then. Yeah, well, well, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, l- let me just go through the timeline and tell you where everyone is, because it's confusing, all right? Because it's like 40 ports. All right. With three days left, Frankie is still at Itachi port fixing the ships and making extra ships, all right? The day yeah. before the raid starts, the scabbards roll out to be the first people to arrive at Tokage port. So no one should be at this port right now. So, okay. Sorry, one, one, one more time? Uh, I missed that. All right, so the day before the raid... You know the chapter Enma, where we get all that shit? Yeah. The scabbards leave early to be the first ones to arrive at Tokage port. Right? So they're the first ones to arrive right now. And they're surprised no one's there. Okay. Uh, Luffy will arrive with the Sunny later on via Kuri Beach. So the Straw Hats are leaving from Kuri Beach. Right? Yeah. Orochi gets a report of the new location, Porto Kage, one day before the festival. And that's all he gets. He gets he gets that, and he gets Kurumasaki, alright? Still alive. The narrator Yo. states, in Enma chapter, the day of the fire festival is here, the last... and a, Well, let me just quote it. The day of the fire festival is here at last, and a battle that will affect the fate of the world will start to begin. Alright? So that's that day. Then we go over this, this chapter, right? On the day of the fire festival, there's a storm at Tokage, and no one's picking up the phone. But no one should be there, because the scabbards are the first ones to arrive. All the ports, are, all the ships are at Itachi port, so no ships have been destroyed, because they're moving to Tokage port as we speak. The Straw Hats also moving towards Tokage from Kuri Beach, and all the, all, all the foot soldiers moving from Itachi port. Well, so no one should be, be at this the... port. Shouldn't the people from Udon Prison be there first? Just no, like because because the scabbards say we need to get there first. So oh. uh, interpretation was that like they were getting the <laughs> like before everybody like the main players of the alliance, but I just assumed that there was supposed to be you know something Someone there. Did. Yeah, something. Yep. Because otherwise, then this cliffhanger really makes like the exactly that's what I'm that saying. It's a, what? No, but Christian, I don't think that it's like. <laughs> Literally, they just forgot the plan but, that nobody's supposed to be here. But, but more, is, there will be pretty but more is, is a break. There is a break. All right? And Owen needed a cliffhanger. Yeah. <laughs> so, Dude, I just don't know if that's the... That... <laughs> so nothing happened. So Orochi sent a couple goons to mess up Itachi Port the night before. That's what happened. Do you really, that was, that's all I, that I happened. Know, I, I don't, I don't, know. I don't okay. think... <laughs> I, I don't I think, think that Oda blew him out of the head, though, because he was, like, Oda was actively hinting at the traitor informing Orochi of the changed plan. Sure. So, it's not it's not like he pulled it out of his ass. I know, I know, so but... we can curse. <laughs> but... No, no one... The, no the secret of events he set up there. don't make sense yeah. right now. No ship should be there, and no one important should be there. So I don't know if that was like my interpretation was still that like nobody important's gonna be there because like the straw hats are gonna be following up but, behind. But, but I more, assume the, that there are there's no bodies and the ships we see there are like little dinghies and they're not the big ship that Frank yeah, yeah. was working no, on. No, no, I agree that yeah. like something has happened that's not necessarily like Kaido swooping in and like burning a whole army to the ground or whatever. Yeah, so the army's still so, uh, we don't know what the <laughs> But I don't think the incident is just the, them forgetting the order. No, nah, no, nah, but like that they look. I'll be very upset if that's the case. But I don't think it's just like fuck. We completely forgot that we're supposed to be the only ones here. Shit, what's going on? I don't know if that's like what I mean. Oda's going for. Yeah, like the, the I would be very upset. If that's the end chapter. The end of chapter. The end of chapter, chapter, chapter makes it pretty clear that the scabbards was supposed to be there first to to like no, meet I'm everyone there. That right now. So, so outside. Like, like before the straw hats in their crew, I don't know if they meant like literally first, um, first. But like we, we would have seen, we would have seen Itachi Port move out if that was the case. Like everyone's there building ships, so like, like why wouldn't like where's Frankie? Is he still hey, at Itachi? Frankie's pushing it to the last minute to yeah, make more ships so, as well. So. Also, that would imply that they moved out a day before the scabbers did and arrived the night before the first day, which is like iffy because Frankie's still building ships and stuff. So, uh, the timeline's weird. Like, 
something happened I, I last think there's night. A difference. I think there's a difference between the people who are working on the ships and stuff, and then, like, the mass civilians of Wano who the... But more, uh, but more. Like, like the, if, you, if you look at Udon, right? Udon's way further away than the, uh, straw, the straw village, right? So I'm not talking about Udon or Frankie's group. I'm saying, like, the, the cards and stuff have been, like, uh, what do you call spread throughout all of Wano. So sure. the scabbards are expecting civilians to have arrived at this port at a certain time. But the scabbards, and my interpretation yeah. was that the strats are following up with their group. So Itachi so ports I assume that the scabbards. Were, I'm saying what? that uh, I assume that the scabbards were assuming. Yeah. That a lot of the citizens of Wano who have been receiving these cards secretly are going to be showing up on that day. But they're surprised that nobody's there. That was my understanding. Would so like the other forces the that Frank... Or would they turn up on the day of? Because the attack they was They're supposed night. to turn up on, on the night of the fire festival, not the day of. Like, the card says to turn oh. up at night, doesn't it? The card yeah, and the yeah. port... <laughs> but, the, but the port was attacked the night before the festival. Exactly, so no one should be there. It's like no so weird. No one should be there. It's so weird. It's also true. Yeah. Like, and... I don't know what exactly... It's arguable that the port was attacked, I guess. And destroyed, the, so no, they couldn't launch there. The yeah. Like, Orochi... So this is what this is, in my mind this is what happened. Orochi sent a bunch of goons, messed up the port, and everyone's fine, and they'll just turn up next week. I don't know because we're gonna have to wait at least a chapter before seeing because like it is suggested that this is a significant incident that occurred and a result of like a long running plot line, which is that there's a traitor and that's gonna have bad consequences for the alliance. So, but more to it than like that. F- like but if it is that, I'm gonna be upset next week. Let, let's think about it logically. Or, or right? two weeks. From now. Everyone's split up, so we got ships in it Ita- in it. Which port is it? Itachi port. We got ships in Itachi port. So Orochi would have had to send people to Itachi port to destroy all those ships. He would have also to send. Also, doesn't know about Itachi port. Yeah, and he would have to send a- an army to destroy Hokage port. He would have had to send strong people to go take out the Straw Hats all around Wano. He would have to send people to Udon to go destroy that army. Like, how many f- how many people did he send out the day before? And, like, travel time and all that kind of stuff. Like, I don't think anyone's anyone's taken out by this. Uh, Christian, page like, one, two, three, four, five, six. What about it? All, the, all, those, all, all those Flying yeah. Six members? The okay. Flying Six? They're not taken out of Straw Hats. Anyway, so, so oh, I agree that it's not like this alliance has been taken out by whatever occurred. I'm just saying that, like, if Oda's saying that an incident occurred, I'm assuming it's something more than just... So let's assume that something... Yeah, let's assume doing something fire. actually happened. What, what do you think actually happened? If something happened. Can I mention a theory that I saw on Reddit? Not sure, my sure, theory. Okay. I told the horror about it earlier. I think it's a pretty yeah. interesting theory. I'm gonna let you Which is it. like... <laughs> theory. So, the theory is that, like, basically Law, um, through whatever off-screen interaction he had with Hawkins, discovered that Orochi was aware of a traitor. Something along those lines. And then yeah. Law basically decided to counteract Orochi preemptively or whatever, and basically knowing that Orochi would probably try and do something to the port that they were trying to get to, it uh, did something behind the scenes to make sure that nobody showed up at that port. The traitor okay. among the nine scabbards didn't tell any of them, so then that way he'd be able to kind of flush out the mole, and he kind of just switched the location, and they aren't aware of it yet, basically. The only person in my mind that could be the traitor is... Keiku because she doesn't do anything or say anything. What about Conjuro? There's a few. Yeah, Conjuro. I think there's a few candidates. Uh, well, they've, they've, all been, they've, they've, they've all been. They've been through so much, and they what? They're all fantastic. But the, pro- the problem with the problem with Conjuro and uh, Kiku is they were teleported into the future, so they haven't had that much time to. But be Kiku, a trailer, we saw Kiku you know? prepare though. Like she had notes and stuff. Yeah, about, she had notes and stuff. Oh, and, I mean, yeah, but like. <laughs> That like it has, I think it has to be the one one of them that stays Shinobu, back. Shinobu, if Shinobu's a traitor, she's the ultimate actor and deserves an Oscar. <laughs> she's crying. <laughs> she's upset. Um, I don't know. Ever, 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 ever since Whole Cake Island, I feel like everyone's just constantly looking for Pudding 2.0. Yeah. Like, all the time. Well, this one, we know there's a traitor, right? At yeah, least it's confirmed kinda. there's a traitor, but, like... It's at least... Yeah. Ha- like, it's so heavily implied if it turns out I to be... Uh, Orochi having a pretty good intelligence. Yeah. I brought this up <laughs> before, right? Unknown dude, unknown dude. The wow. way the way that Dinda and Mushi work in Wano is they all go to a major hub. Hub. They so could, that be could be easily wire tapped. Easily wire tapped. They could easily be wire tapped. And where's this hub that they're all using? Yeah, maybe that maybe Wait. they took out the hub so no one's picking up the phone. Well, 
you know. But I think like the the thing the thing that like crosses out a lot of people from Wano or like something like this is the fact that Jack was able to pinpoint Zunisha so precisely, and that basically mm -hmm. they kind of knew or were able to chase. So you think um, it's Karimon and the others? Oh my god, the carrot! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be so upset if it's carrot just because. People are gonna be so smug on Twitter. Like, there's gonna be a lot of people being like, "But it's bad because it makes no sense." <laughs> like the whole Pedro thing, whole cake Island. She was acting the whole time. Come well, on, bro. Like, I, so, so what I think is possible old. is, I'm oh, I'm not sure who told me this. It might have been Brago, but I like someone someone I talked to was saying that. Oh, was I'm not sure. Someone was saying that it's possible that Carrot has just developed a real like. There's a group of radical. Minx that basically hate the humans so much that um, Why? they kind of want to take them all down because I mean, like of how the Minx are treated. How so they try, like they're sold in slave auctions. That's about it. You know they're tra tra yeah. they're, they're about equal to fish. Oh, men. they're definitely. They're also, definitely suffering. they sacrificed the entire country and almost died for the Kazuki. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> including Carrot, <laughs> including Carrot, Wanda, Pedro. Oh, but Carrot uh, didn't get a scratch, right? Well, I think, I think, for example, like, like, doesn't it make? Well, for me, it would make more sense if it was some, like, someone from Wano than one of the Minx. Well, but... if you look at, if you look at it, like, you can explain how Jack got to Wano by the little scene with Kinemon and Conj and uh, Rizo uh, moving out from Wano yeah. to go to Zo. Like, they got tracked. In that panel, but then how did he? But he came back. Like maybe he that, has, what, maybe he has some sort bright. of, some sort of uh, river card stuff. Yeah, he it's has his, to. Yeah. But then it's, his, it's his animal instinct from his dough fruit. Yeah, because he's a uh, because he's a mammoth, so he can sense other elephants. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that's the answer. All right, Dude, like the the, the traitor has to be someone we care about white. and makes Otherwise, sense. Otherwise, there's no point. Has... Exactly. That's what I was saying. That's why I would be kind of like this. Even I would even be disappointed if it were Shinobu, because like, because no one gives like, a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'd be okay with that. Like, like with Shinobu. Like, it, and if it's law, like legit, if it's law, law, if law betrays not... the straw hats, all right. Oh no, it's not law. Law can go no. fuck himself. <laughs> not law. It, it just what you guys know. Like we can read law's speech bubbles and thought bubbles when like Luffy's fighting Kaido. Like law is very clearly like personally invested in protecting and saving. Yeah, Luffy. I don't he's think not on law. Kaido's side. It just makes well, no yeah, sense. but he did, he did get salty after Shinobu roasted him. That's true. He yeah, does have one salty salt panel. Right? Like, I was like well, personally insulted. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's why me. would they need to take his crew hostage to get information from him? When he's already a traitor. Like, that just doesn't make yeah. sense. No, he became Wait, a traitor me. after Hawkins <laughs> is like, are you watching. having... Haw Hawkins is like, are you having second thoughts? I mean, it's clearly uh, a bait. But I'm, I'm it's clearly still a of the mentality that the traitor's been around but for a while. But then, maybe it's just in... Beppo. Maybe Beppo's been the traitor the entire time. Mm. Well, I mean, wild. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, but like, the, the chapter you're referencing, isn't it like heavily implied that Hawkins yeah. himself... Kind of looks for a way out yeah, I know. from under Kaido's. I, I know. I know. It's all bait, and I'm just trying to bait us to think the Lord's a traitor. <laughs> but like, yeah. uh, what do you think about it being uh, Kirishiro, who's actually Denjiro and knows the plan, and is using Hiro to get information? Well, can he be a traitor if he's not actually with? Well, that would make Hirori the traitor, right? Because well, Hiro using... was the traitor. That'd be something. That would because be putting two point oh. Because way. he's That'd using Hiro to get it. But, yeah. You're using it to get information. I don't know. Well, I'm not sure. Because, like, how, for example... Hmm. <laughs> if Hiori was the traitor... But then, who, like, who, who is... Who is Hiori the... Like, cause the but then again, Hiori like, the did give Zoro the sword, so... But, you know, the thing that is confusing to me is, like, the, the line of information. Yeah. Because you feel like if there was a traitor, the person receiving the information would be Kaido. But, like, it feels Roji, like... yeah. It's a road shoe, so it's a good point. I feel like Fukurokuju has a massive head for a reason. He's right. he's got he's got telepathy. He can... Nah, he's a two thousand IQ master has all the intel. <laughs> all right. There's no all traitor. Right. I, I have a feeling there's no traitor because I can't think about who it would be and why but that would be interesting. The only person that half makes sense is Beppo. 
I guess, because he's a mink and he wouldn't know the the details. And yeah, I don't think it, I don't think it's well, Hirori now thinking about it because like Zoro, he, she gave Zoro the sword that can defeat Kaido. So I don't know I about mean, I think know about that. Well, I I like there's a lot like there's a few characters you could like rationalize being the traitor now from our perspective right now, but like I really hope that if there's a traitor that Oda will still have some information in his backhand. That will yes. maybe even enable another character that we're just not having on the radar right now to be the traitor. Yeah. Just to change like, topic, just to change topics, right? Off this traitor thing. What the fuck is Kid doing? And where is he? That's true. And Where's why is he kid? waiting so long? <laughs> Looking for his you crew, guys, I guess. You guys don't agree with me, but I still don't think this is the final battle. So I, I don't mean, know if how many times does the narrator have to lie to us for it not to be the uh, final battle? Yeah. <laughs> think of it as a lie. Just view it as like the as alliance calls lie it the to final us. battle. Cool. So that's calling it the final battle, but it's not literally the final battle. I mean, the final battle can last weeks. I mean, you know. I mean, yeah, I could see it like that. I'm just saying, like, I don't think the thing ends today. So, like, I don't. No, it's not. It's not ending today, but it, it'll go for a long time. It might end today. No, well, because fucking it's battles hard. in One Piece last then, fucking days. Like, yeah, what's, but what's the, the main? Why put it in Act Three though? Like, wouldn't that be like one big finale? If it was just not more from now on. Well, it can, we can have lols. Act four can be all flashbacks, and then Act five is finishing the fight. You know, I agree with that. I just like a long period of time, so I'm actually thinking like two weeks, basically. So I, I think the walk is like yeah. People, I will I'll say this again: Act four and five can still be the war. They don't have to be individual things. Yeah, that's true. So when I said like, the fire festival will end, will end in failure, I'm saying like they're not going to win. No, nah, today, no. like the day of the fire festival. So that's that was kind of um, my mentality throughout all of this. Well, so, like, I think it's gonna be yeah, yeah. all that stuff. I don't think they're getting defeated and then going back and getting more resources and then coming back. I think it's gonna be one. So they one they don't battle. have any resources left. Yeah, they like, basically have nothing. I just don't know if it's all I, happening. I, I personally, what should I like? I personally see it rather from the perspective that Act Three is gonna be like the closed one arc where we really have like the actors that are in one right now clashing and then that will like not end in any distinct victory for any side and then like act four will be new forces arriving whether it's the marines or another yonko or shishibukai or whoever worst generation and then act five or like the the second conflict will the basically be wind. new yeah the second wave will be bigger like that's what I'm I have for my So how many power ups is Luffy gonna get to f to fight Kaido? Because Luffy's already powered up. I think <laughs> three. It. Is he gonna get three. another power up to become Emperor level now? No. Like, what's going I think on? Uh, this arc. Right now he's kind of getting armament hockey down, in my opinion. Yeah. We think this is the arc, like story wise, really by the end that Conqueror's hockey is the main one that he's gonna upgrade. So armament hockey is just phase one. Conqueror's hockey upgrade, I feel like, is the most important thing to happen by the end oh, of this wow. arc. You can't upgrade it. I don't no think more. so. You I don't upgrade think so. Conqueror's hockey. I you think, can. I think but Conqueror's. Like, you can. You definitely can. It but only works with your will. You can't train it. Exactly. I mean, it's exactly. yeah, yeah, that that That's the point. Like, I think that Conqueror's hockey. He's not going to train it. It is going to be like, like in my mind, Luffy and Kaido. Whatever the final battle is, that's a battle of uh, most important battle of spirit for Luffy because that's just what Kaido tries to do. Out of all the villains we've had so far, Kaido's goal is to break people's spirits. Yeah. And to me, that just well, makes sense as this being the arc that spirit would be tested the most. In which case, this is the Conqueror's hockey arc. How many times are we going to see the Red Scabbards cry at the drop of a pin? Uh, a lot. I don't know. Well, we don't know their backstory yet. We exactly. All right, let me, go on, let me go on a rant. I think right? we're going to see a lot of Straw Hats cry. Let me go on a rant. Arc. Go for it. I think it was a massive mistake not having the Onan flashback before the battle, because no one cares about the Red Scabbards. Why do we care about Odin? Why do we care about his dream? We don't even know who he is. Give us the Odin flashback, or I just don't care. Odin, what are Christian, you doing? That comes after, what do you call? Like, for example, with Robin, they didn't get, like, only once the actual fighting started, right before that was when we got the I flashback. Think, I think the Maybe key difference between most arcs is the man that this arc revolves around. He's has dead. no context around him and is still being shattered in mystery. So we don't know the relationship with his crew. Also, Therefore, Morge, how can we be invested? Also, Morge, Act One and Act Two is all Morge about yeah. is all about the scabbards and what they're about and what why they follow I mean, Odin. And we'll we know nothing about them. Yeah, we'll get the emotional investment 
in <laughs> retrospect, when we reread Wano. Sure, but like right now, week to week, I'm just like, all right, Shinobu's crying. All right, Kyu. I mean, uh, I like, agree, Kim but I'm saying crying. like we okay. need like a mo like the story has to oh, hit yeah. a certain point where Oda shifts it towards emotional I'm investment, telling and you. that's usually when we get that yeah. uh, that flash. I'm telling so, you. So like, I think we're on pace at the moment. But would it? Yeah, but would it before Yasu's death or Yasu's death triggering triggering the Odin flashback make Yasu's death more impactful than what it was? Because it amounts to Yasu's nothing. Yasu's death was the. Uh, well, for me, Yasu's death was impactful, like, just, a, like, it's not like I was tearing up over Yasu's death or anything like that, yeah. but I treat it as kind of like a Senior Pink backstory-esque, where it also, took a character we didn't know much about, and then... Also, he doesn't, ha he, doesn't have to, he doesn't have to give us the flashback all at once. He could give us his young years. Yeah, then his old years. Cause how like, how he got, like, how he gathered his crew, and then later on show us the Carter stuff. Like, most of us... Uh, share my thoughts yeah. real quick for a sec? Like, yeah. give me a... <laughs> A minute for why I believe that, like, we haven't sure, gotten okay. that flashback okay. yet. Scabbards, and I've said this all in my one arc analysis video, but, like, in my mind, the scabbards are meant to parallel the straw hats, right? Sure. The idea is based, and, like, Luffy is meant to be a parallel to Odin. A lot of the way that Odin is spoken about seems like a Luffy esque, sort of larger than life figure. Sure. Here that they're following his will, et cetera, et cetera, loyalty, et cetera. So, in my mind, um, whatever happens in Onigashima most likely doesn't end in success for the first time, and very likely is a test of the Straw Hat spirit. And get the flashback of Odin to put into perspective the story of basically a parallel group of Straw Hats who lost their captain, and of makes that sort of failure that the Straw Hats have in this arc a lot more meaningful. So it kind of has to go hand in hand in my mind, like... We have to see the Straw Hats fall first before getting the story of an of a parallel group who also but, fell. Yeah. But more but then we can see how the Straw Hats still here, here and now, right? The arc is suffering because we have no context, right? But it depends. Like I still view this as the setup phase of the arc. So but I do think that the plot lines so far have been interesting, but like I don't think we're even I think we're maybe a third of the way through the arc. But more the Straw Hats already that... lost their captain when Luffy fought Kaido the first time and they didn't care. But that's the thing. Like that was clearly to me not the actual like fall moment of the arc because when Oda wants to shift the tone, he shifts the tone. But to me, that was something like Luffy losing the hour yeah. where you kind of he brush it off. Immediately, he immediately like the reaction of the Straw Hats was also pretty light, lighthearted. Oh, in really front like... of the crew, losing the Kaido in front of the crew, and if How it's a much more fashion that would be interesting how do they escape how do they get out of onigashima but i feel like i feel like Oda's just Captain repeating Kinetic. himself if he if he goes for the failure aspect we already did that in act two so why is it different this time are we just repeating plot failure plot? aspect of in which regard because like luffy tries to fight kaido he failed right miserably got one shot destroyed absolutely destroyed uh Lu luffy, now luffy, is luffy, certain luffy thought his like, whole entire crew was destroyed with that, with that breath attack, he didn't know otherwise, right? So, like, if we do this again, like in the in Christian, the final like, battle, agree, like that stuff was kind of quick. Like that was like kind it, of yeah, early but, arc quick stuff, basically. Like you don't think that that could be done in a much more dramatic fashion, where like the entire story has been building towards this supposed victory. Luffy has been training. He thinks he's ready to take down Kaido. The Straw but, Hats watch him lose in front I'm of their saying, eyes. You don't I'm think that that's a much more significant, much better built sure. up moment? Sure, but what I'm saying is, Oda's repeating himself. Why have the first one, if you're going to do it again, better the second time? That's like saying, like, why did we have to see Luffy, like, fail at Sabote and then see Luffy fail at Marine Ford again? No, because Luffy they're, they're is a character whose uh, spirit is so... The difference is... It's the, different, but... I'm, yeah, it's different because... Radically. It's different because it's, it's, exactly. it's two different arcs, oh, right? And we're not, we're not... We're stuck in Wano right now. We're, we're almost 50 chapters deep, right? But, like, Wait. different arcs, it's still the same storyline. Like, that whole storyline was basically, like, Luffy, this character who's been built up for so long. Yeah, he finally tried. Who's, like, to never had his career broken to finally fail. And for him, he had to have as he had to fail multiple times. So, because his spirit's so strong. So, it's the Bodhi followed by Impel Down. Yeah, but they were, they, were, so they were different in the way that it's his crew versus his brother, his past, what that means to him, all, all right. that kind of stuff. But we can't, like... If Oda, like, the first, let's just take Act 1 at the end of Act Act 1. Luffy gets defeated, okay. Um, then we move to Act 3, we get to Onigashima, we spent all of Act 2 gathering supplies, gathering men, gathering ships. Luffy gets defeated, 
we get sent back to round one. I just think arc fatigue sets in, and is it? I don't know if it's worth the effort. You know what I mean? Well, dude, I don't, I don't know. I mean, it depends on like how it's done. Because if you read it like that, it sounds like a Wikipedia summary, basically. But I do well, think that like, I mean, the way I, the way I, Kaido initially, that was kind of like a. I think I think the problem is right. The way between yeah. No, hang on. Christian is legitimately tired of. I'm tired of these starting. of these moments having no impact because we don't know about Odin. We don't know about his connection with the Scabbards. You can't just show me Scabbards crying and make me have an emotional investment. I need this flashback. Because I agree. Can, I do want yeah. the flashback soon. I think like, we get that this actor. Okay, like, Christian, we are, can... Uh, like, I'm ask more, are, you, are you emotionally no. invested? Because, like, me personally, I can't exactly... Exp- like, out of the green, I couldn't explain you why I'm emotionally invested. But I definitely, like, felt something when I saw that scene. Like... As like Kinemon has been around for so long, that has been building for forever. I get, I get your point about, for example, like the other scabbers that we've just recently met. But even then, like even like the one chapter with Kawamatsu and like him digging up yeah, the that was a good and chapter. shit. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, I personally like, felt it. I wouldn't say it's like, like for example, like I'm, I'm not gonna lie. If you compare this to any lobby, I was way more emotionally invested exactly. right then. I like the story. I mean, I like the storyline as it's building towards now, and in my mind, this is a very long storyline where we're probably not at the point where Oda has tried to actually shift the tone. But more I think sh- we're at the point getting there. Would you like say? The scabbard, yeah. But I'm definitely like- not. I'm 100% like in love with the scabbards, like, like the same way. When, any story when, you like know that. when the chapter with Kamatu and Oni Oni Maru came out. Would you agree that we like it would have just been better to get chapters like that for all the other scabbards instead of what we did in Act Two? Like we get an emotional God, little I'm chapter, a little flashback, what they're about, what they did during the time gap. We get emotionally invested in them, so we 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 because now I actually like Karl Marx because of his flashback, right? I get to understand his Ashura. character. So like Ashura uh, could have done the same. Uh, you know, Konjiro Kino like. Ki- can you been around? But... Like we didn't even see like Shinobi is just a character that's introduced this arc, right? We should have context for for what how much she's been suffering for twenty years by herself. We, we don't know what she's done at all. She's just kind of there. But I guess this is the problem. This is, this is the problem with Wano at the moment. Some people are emotionally invested. Some aren't. It's very like, all right, uh, we just want to see Luffy fight Kaido. Get to that because we're not really like. To look at like, look, if you kind of like, I think that's kind of putting something on Wano when you're not looking at the story of One Piece in general, which is like, yeah, usually we do get the flashback after the arc has hit a certain point. Like, Law, we didn't get his flashback with Doflamingo till they were fighting Doflamingo. Yeah, but Robin, we actually same cared thing, about, about yeah, but Morge, we actually Sky, cared about yeah, Law before that, the though. Of Viper and such till like, I think we it's, were at that. It's important, like, those, those. Those flashbacks are important for those. But they're arcs not—they're not integral and massively impact the arc themselves. Like the w- Robins. Robins is Robins is important, but we already cared about Robin, and we already knew kind of her motives before the flashback yeah, with with, with, flashback with Nami. Like, I, I yeah. did not care about Robin to the same degree till the flashback. Then that made her one of my favorite characters. Before that, I could understand that she had some motive, but I didn't empathize with her to the same degree. Well, wait, but, but we, could, we, we could we, say we, Luffy's. Yeah. You could see Luffy's will for his crew, and you understand. You understood Luffy as a character, and and the crew as a character, and what they do for their their. And and their Nami Nakama. Nami's speech at the burning building at, at the end of Water Seven about how we you know Robin sacrificing herself. You already knew her motives. We just had to get to the point of understanding why she had those motives. But like right now with with the scabbers, we're like, yeah, I but get I, I get you I like, get you loyal to Odin, but why are you loyal to Odin? Think that's missing? my opinion is the straw hats so like we can say a lot we wouldn't mind this level of emotional investment with the scabbards and stuff yeah if the straw hats were getting more in my opinion right because i think that's the same with skypea or any slobby or dressrosa or dressrosa not the same but like emotional investment in the straw hats it doesn't matter as much if we get to learn more about the characters later down the line you know what i mean yeah, but the um, thing, the thing that... Was, like, the reason yeah. we're doing it this way is because the scabbards are meant to parallel the straw hats, and so once we find out the scabbard story, that's when we're going to start, like, learning more about what the straw hat storylines are going to be for this arc. But, yeah, I, I just think it's... I just, I just think it's dragging at this point. Um, the week-to-week yeah. struggle with 
understand uh, the scabbard is becoming brutal at this point. And that, because that's, Oda that's... keeps on giving us these scenes where we're supposed to really care about the scabbards. Oh no, no one showed up at the port. Their dream is broken. They can't avenge their, their master now. This The same thing when Yasu died. Oh no, we're, we're broken again. We can't avenge our, our master. We can't open his dream. We can't do this. We can't do that. I, I don't and know we're about supposed you guys, to, but... We're supposed to care, but we don't. That's I the can't, I can't remember Oda doing a character like this that's pretty much the main character of the arc that's already dead and we don't know much about him and we're 50 chapters deep. Like, all we're getting is source about the character and there's no actual meat to chew on. It's just a lot of hype and, like, no actual seeing him interact yeah. with the people he's supposed to care yeah, about. Not- I feel like that's very deliberate in that, like, of what the story is leading up to is... Weird. No, yeah, like, it's not like Oda's accidentally doing that, but I'm saying, like... I think it's just exactly. suffering... It's yeah. just suffering the week to week, and it'll make more sense when we get that connection. I, I think, you. like, I would like to see at the end of Act 3, then if we're deciding that basically, you know, that the way Oda's done it is right or wrong, kind of, because I do wonder if, like, actually seeing... For the scabbards and then getting their backstory would give us more perspective on well, how you, devastating you'll have, yeah you'll have that cool moment where like you get all the context and then all the all the events that happened previously Before, yeah. all, you know, all click into place and you get that like oh that's that's how it was moment or that's why that happened or that's why this and that which will be cool but we're just gonna have to wait and i assume that we'll get the flashback when, after that moon panel with all the scabbards ready to fight sure which will frustrate everyone yeah. because we're about to end of the fight, but we'll get that flashback, which will probably be 20 chapters long. It's going to be real long. Yeah, but let me let me take you back. Let me sh- give an example, right? Let's, let's just take through the bark, for example. Brooke, barely in the arc, barely talked about until we get his, we get his little flashback with Laboon and then the bigger one at the end. Like, he's not the major focus of the arc, so, like, Brooke just turns up here and there and helps out the Straw Hats. The main point of Thriller Bark is to defeat Moria, get their shadows back so they can leave. And then Brooke's thrown in there, here or there. We get that little connection with Laboon about halfway through the arc. And then we defeat Moria, and then we get his actual flashback. So, like, Brooke isn't the major plot of the arc, all right? It's, it's Moria and the shadows. But you compare that with Wano... Odin is the major point in the arc. His dream, his will, his his accomplishments. So it's like, yeah, I get that you can have the flashback at the end of the arc and it all works out, but that happens. In my mind, it's not the main point. I think I'm I think I'm just thinking of a different. Like I might be wrong in the direction the arc is headed, but I yeah. think that the main plot of the arc literally hasn't happened. Like <laughs> with fifty chapters deep, the main agree. plot hasn't emerged. <laughs> no, but it's not about chapter count because Wano is the arc that's been built up like for like yeah. literally, I think. Of, several hundred chapters now so i imagine story wise it's like much i'm longer very than convinced anything that we're far. still way into like I, I i also think even if we'll see like we'll start seeing some battles now and like we'll get into the war i still don't think that we're done with setup even if we get yeah, already if we already started get fighting i think we'll get set up deep into the third act of wano so like when when you're saying like you know we're this deep or this or like however long in my mind this is like a legit epic that oda is writing like within the epic of one piece so but why you know just when i say this is a setup phase i don't think we're going to get the backstory at the end of the arc i'm saying i think that we get the backstory at the point that the story's really going to take off so yeah if that's not the case then i'm wrong but like that's just how i'm viewing it at the but moment more, so more, like we're like, getting if, if you look at the pacing of the arc right now we spent so long in act two Getting resources, setting up the battle, doing all this stuff. Would you say there would be a pacing issue if this amounted to nothing? If the dramatic fallout was like, significant worth, enough, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, I mean, again, we know there's a lot more. Like, the resources that they're collecting here, like ships and people and stuff, like actual resources, like yeah. the straw at Grand Fleet or something like that shows up later then this, uh, everything that happened here leading up to some sort of major defeat, I think that would be def- uh, definitely worth it. Yeah. Um, but it depends how it's done. Like, it's, it's, it's execution. Yeah, that's the thing at the end of the day, because, like, 
you could say no, we'd we'd uh, be really disappointed for it all to not work yeah, out. But I mean, if it's done it always happen, like you know, execution, no. you'd have to rally yeah. the so, scabbards again, and Luffy would have to do that personally. That but Luffy already Florida. gave the speech in Udon to the people. He already did all this stuff, and we have to do it again. I don't think like, that mm-hmm. was a small thing. That was to like how many people are in Udon? Yeah, but you know, it's 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 more about the the thematic point of that speech, no, I, right? you, but I don't think that that's yeah. like Luffy's major moment, like his development in this arc. I think that was a good moment, but did I wouldn't even put that in my like top ten Luffy moments list yeah, or anything no, no, like but that like... if I were to make that was a good moment though. Let, let's it was a good moment and I think it sets the tone for maybe what Luffy's uh storyline is gonna be this arc, which is having sure, to rally yeah. large amount of people. I, think, I don't think yeah, that's and I become a leader of like of substance, but this is like this is the difference you two, right? Christian is sh- Christian's looking at the week to week struggle and feeling that pain of like what the fuck is going on with all these plot lines, right? Uh, well, we need that connection. Like, now. I think I think, I think, I think, we, I think, we all so I think the, the issue is that Wano is not an arc, like, I think Wano really like rereading the arc has been such a different experience. I think we talked about the last time, more right? Like, yeah. This is something that feels so much more fluent when you can actually read chapter to chapter, like back to back, you know, when you can read chapter after chapter, sure. like waiting for that stuff to make sense um, for weeks. Like that's harsh. And I totally feel you like, I feel the same. It's just like, I have faith that it'll all end up but, making sense, but I get your frustration for sure. But if I'm wrong, then like, I will be very, very disappointed with what this but uh, more, arc what was. was. What was the point of the big mom amnesia? Do we know yet, or is Dude, it is it over? I, I view or? that I view that personally as what do you call just like a straight up bad writing moment. Yeah, for like, like I'm not saying it's uh, perfect. I will say though on that if it doesn't pan out <laughs> anything, I'm still waiting for. The but pan. I will say I, I did think yeah I did think that like Oda just needed a way to kind of stall Big Mom's storyline and then get her over to Onigashima. I mean, okay. And and I'm mean, just so clumsy. I hated it when it was used with Sabo. Like I'm not saying that like oh I think Oda's done this arc perfectly. I'm just saying like I don't yeah. even think that. He's got anyway, the meat of what he's trying to write about. See, Morge, that's, so that's, what, that's what I'm saying with Act 2 and it being messy. And there's all these, like, weird extraneous chapters that necess- might necessarily not have to be there. And, like, I think if if this is the fail moment, and Act 3 is the fail moment, I think Wano's had a really, really, really big pacing issue. Because there's all these weird, 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 like, weird Act 2 like, chapters. Like pushing the pace, too. Right? Like, yeah, it's kind of, like, weirdly fast. And slow, like he's trying to move it's it a, forward. We, we, That's part of the reason I think he's trying to get to the meat of the story. But yeah, there's but, so much he's got to cover to, to like, get there. We, we so had like, like we had like eight days pass in one in, chapter, in like two chapters, yeah. Yeah, and, and then in another, like, like, and then in another like chapter, chapters. yeah, and then in another chapter we had the whole chapter about a fox collecting swords. It the pacing. I have described the pacing before though. as yeah. erratic. The pacing is erratic. It slow. It slows down. It speeds up. It goes here. Goes there. You know. It's it. I'm just trying to. I know I'm just, I'm just trying to rush. You're trying to get to the the good moments. Trying to trying to push it along, but like, I think What's I think the, the structure. I think the structure is suffering. To be honest, like right now, I mean, I just, it. In my mind, like, you can only see like. I guess it depends. Like if you think that the arc is ending soon and we've covered most no, of the I, story ground, no. then. I'm gonna agree. But, but more like so, in more. my mind, if it's like this is just the early phases of it, then I don't mind because I I reread this arc after Act Two ended yeah. and the pacing flowed. Pretty nicely. There were a couple points I thought were weird. Yeah. Like one time, Oda or Zoro was walking with Yasu to the Bisu Town village. Oh and my it was god! Like Don't one get me started on Zoro. <laughs> but like, um, pacing's not as bad on reread ever. And in my mind, like, if the the actual story hasn't gotten going yet, and we're all doing exposition up to this point, I'm not like. All right. Let me let me ask you the I, final I, question of this this discussion. Yeah. How many chapters do you think Wano is? Like if you if you had to you seen my video <laughs> recently, <laughs> you seen my I, I put I, out a video I'm a couple saying, weeks ago. Yeah. Which was I'm saying two hundred. I'm saying two hundred chapters. <sighs> one of the first people that has agreed with me on this. Yeah. One of the first people who's ever. But agreed I'm with saying me on this, so. it's all fights. Guys, it's all it's all battle. Guys, it's all it can't can be two hundred chapters. Do you it will be. We're still missing three flashbacks. Yes. All right. That's another four years. Yeah, you. Yeah, but I don't think that's relevant. What's like that? I mean. Uh, really good the end game now, right? I guess, but like, do you assume? Uh, <laughs> fine. If it's two hundred chapters and it makes sense and it's good, I'm happy. 
And but, dude, this is the biggest setup Oda's like he's trying to write literally an epic within one yeah. like this isn't an art I mean, saga. The whole, whole new I world was basically pointing towards so do that you, was like set up for one. Do you think? Do you think right? everyone's turning up at the end? Uh, do I have to wait? Do I have to wait a hundred chapters to see this flashback? What do you think? <laughs> Ooh, I maybe get it by the end of the because <laughs> because I might have a meltdown if it takes that long to get a flashback. That's ridiculous. Yeah, the, that is like, that is too ridiculous. I hope it's sooner than later. I like, hope it's sooner than later. One Piece is a weekly, to... yeah. One Piece is a weekly series, and we can only really criticize the weekly experience. Like, if, if you want to make a video about the axe, that's fair enough. But this is like a weekly show about the weekly experience. Right. So we that's all we can well, really talk about, you know. Well, that's the thing. Like, for me, I, yeah. Sorry, you go. Yeah. I'll just go real quick. Like, uh, yeah. In my mind, like, I I never like the fact that people have to criticize it weekly because it's not. Like just because it's a story that comes out weekly doesn't mean yeah, that but it's that, like, that's how it's sold, uh, that's how it's marketed. So it, it's got it's got criticism. It, it, you know? it, it should be read in volumes. Like for example, it should be read in volumes. Go, like when you and like evaluate, hey, how's Wano compared to Alabasta? Are you talking about Alabasta's weekly experience? Of course not. Yeah, but because that's you a, don't that, know that's what that's a different that video. That's a different video, Mosh. You know what I mean? Like this video. Is, <sighs> also, Oda oh, does right. Oda does right. Like, Week to week as well. Sure. Like, you guys can't do anything besides week to week uh, evaluation. Yeah, but, but I'm more, just saying, like, like the actual. Oda does so many don't... cliffhangers for the week to week experience. Oh, you know and I mean? think that that's like a problem that he has to deal with as a writer. Exactly. I'm saying, so like, when we <laughs> yeah. evaluate the story of One Piece, they don't of do course. it on week to week. You can't. You, you can't be definitive on a, on an arc until it ends. Yeah. So, like, my opinion basically is like, you guys don't know this, but. Back before I started doing my channel, I was like I was a weekly reader, but I would take long breaks to binge chapters. So that's always been my general like Zo, I read it all in one go, basically. Yeah. Um Whole Kick Island to start it, I read it in one go. Because like when an arc ends, I usually give it a large buffer. Mm. And then I come in and like binge it, and then usually I'm hitting it at around the good well, well, yeah, we yeah, but our, our, audi our audience listens to the podcast for the weekly nah, stuff. You know? Regardless of that, yeah. I need that I need that hit every week. Yeah, you need that hit. Yeah, I can't not have that hit. I can't not know that a chapter's out and then... Yeah, I can't not know yeah. that a chapter's out and then not I, I get what you're saying, but at the same time, I feel like that's what distinguishes, like, a weekly manga series from a TV show that can actually, like, pay off on yeah. that. Especially when it's long-running as One Piece. Like, if you have, like, maybe a, sh a normal, like, uh, short-running manga, like, that, that's different. Because then you have, like, one chapter is like one mini arc in itself, but like with One Piece, it's like one chapter is like a fraction of a mini arc in the big series. If you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah. I get All right. It. All right. So, so chapter nine fifty eight ratings. I mean, Shakes is in the chapter. Shakes, Shakes is in the chapter. So by default, I have to give it a ten out of ten. But <laughs> if Shanks wasn't in the chapter, you get in a four out of ten. All right. There you go. There um, you go. I'm upset. Look, this I think week. I think the context around the Roger Pirates is really good. Like I don't think that can be ignored. It's um, not that good. We already knew this information. Yeah, we we assume, we assume that we was assume, amazing. But we assume that the Roger Pirates Dude, were like that was so much character building in just like two and a half pages. I yeah, we that. assume we assumed that the character we assume that the Roger Pirates are like this. So it just confirms what we assumed. But we still need to see it. Uh, fucking the last. Four pages is like, the all last, right, we'll the see last what happens. Six pages of nothing happening. Sure. Maybe, potentially. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is the thing, right? We know, look, at the end of the day, we know Luffy's going to fuck up Kato. So fucking hurry up. That's basically all I'm going to say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting annoyed of this constant, oh, what happened? Oh, how are we going to get there? Just oh, get the there. Oh, the show failed again. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, you know. You know, it's kind of like a meta point, but yeah, I'd say, you know, 10 out of 10 for Shanks. And uh, what do you think, Mosh? <laughs> um, I actually like the latter half of the chat. I thought the artwork was like some of the best we've had. Yeah, pretty good. This one. Thank you. Um, but also lengthwise, I wanted more from it, so I was disappointed it was short. Um, I'll give it an 8.5, 9 if it was a little longer. Okay. okay. All right, there you go. Two, I'm going to give it. Two different ends of the spectrum. Uh, there you go. I'm gonna give it a ten, like just because right. I thought the Roger part was okay. Yeah, for me personally, that was gold. Like that is, I don't know why people underplayed that so much. Like yeah, don't underplay that. That's huge. Even tens, maybe maybe because we, 
I think people would have valued it more if it hadn't been right after the rocks thing. Yeah. But I, I mean, that is that like, is actually actually saying actual action. Yeah. Actually saying the Roger parts talk to each other is yeah. huge. I mean, uh, and I mean, I I personally like that. That doesn't play as strong into my my rating, but like I still really like I can really dig the the frustration of the scabbards even yeah. I, even though i understand your your issue yeah. with getting involved with them i still felt that all right uh predictions for next chapter uh everyone's Let's... fine they just pull up and nothing happened okay Morge. <laughs> uh honestly something i like the law theory that that dude posted on reddit which okay. is laws doing this to flush out the mole but okay. orochi still did nothing he just messed up a port yeah he just Broke that down. I'm still going with the theory that uh, that Usopp's actually Usopp is He's carrying like the uh, freeing the prisoners and moving the prisoners I'm, out. I'm gonna have a fun one. The uh, the straw hats got diverted to pick up Nakamura and Jinbei. Where are so, they off Wano? Nah, they just pick them up and they come around the port. Okay, <laughs> all right. But like that would be a pretty like short, short paced. Uh, yeah, report. chapter. Like, oh, by the way, Jinbei's here. <laughs> we need it. We need a double page spread of the Asani turning up. We need every, a double page spread of everyone else turning up. We're a short chapter. It was, okay. but like at the same time, I feel. Well, I always hate it when there's a break, but I feel like the last couple of months, like Oda was oh. going really strong. And we know Oda comes off strong off breaks, so I expect. Yeah. Something. Yes. All right. Talking. Speaking of a break next week, that means call-in show. We're doing the call-in show again. Make sure people people can call into the show via Discord, all right? You get five minutes, discuss your topic, make sure you have a good topic, make sure you have a good mic, join the Discord, we'll pull you in, we'll, uh, we'll get all your topics sorted, and we'll, we'll come up with a list of uh, times and all that kind of stuff. So get ready for the live show, the call-in show, next week. All right? All right. There you go. Maybe, uh, maybe Morge is going to call in with his uh, theory, I don't know. <laughs> Right. Well, uh, I told you guys, and then hangs up. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys stop doing the uh, arc? Um, you guys were doing the, like arc, arc. Yeah, the, yeah. there's so out? there's so much work, and no one listens to them. So, because oh, I I, so re I reread all the volumes and make like ridiculous notes on them, just so I could put memes and stuff in the episode. Like the effort goes in, and then no one watches it. So yeah, like no one watches it. So yeah, we have to get rid of them. <laughs> Considered... Yeah. Could have uh, just put him in a not podcast then and like just put him out as like normal videos. Or... I don't know. You guys do whatever. Yeah, like do. the channel's weird because like it's, it's set to two hours. Like you have to put out a two hour video or, do or it doesn't get in the algorithm. All that kind of YouTube bullshit, you know? I'm yeah. interested to see how much episode 100 blows up your guys' channel. Ooh, <laughs> It'll be. Episode 100. Come up well, soon. All right. We're planning, we're preparing. All right. The Rumored Reverie yeah. also on the horizon. Uh, yeah, who knows happen? when the Reverie's. No one knows. When will happen? Who knows? No. All right. Uh, only that's the chapter. Only whispers. And uh, we'll do a quick reset and we'll be back. All right. How strong is Shanks every week? Captain level minimum. Every week. We come to you with a question of how strong is Shanks? <laughs> and every week we answer Shanks is the strongest. Shanks is the God King. Mm -hmm. But there are people out there who think Kaido's the strongest. <sighs> who think Dragon's the strongest? Who think Sweatiest Man on the Planet, LK, you know, is strongest? So sweaty. Who think Mihawk's the strongest? Why they do this to me? I don't know. I don't know. And who think the the worst people of them all? They think I'm the strongest. All right, but they're all incorrect because Shanks is the strongest. And every week we come with 100% genuine factual information factual. to prove them wrong. This week's evidence: Shanks is so strong that after only being an emperor for four years. Stops Kaido from going to Marine Fort. What do you think about that? All right, that's how strong Shanks is. Shanks is the strongest. Shanks is the God King. And there you go. All right. What's the next question? Let's build.
Toby. Moving on. Toby the show SBS. Alright. Not a lot to talk about here. Some interesting things. Uh, we finally get an answer as to why Sanji kicking Big Mom isn't going against his... Uh, his now, code. Christian, you, you went on an absolute rant the other week about not doing outside sources, but you can't... SBS is not the outside people. source because it's Oda's word straight okay, out of his mouth. It's not so delivery you... cards. It's not marketing material. It's in the volumes. It's Oda himself. All right. I don't want to. Do, do you guys? Do you guys actually like take note about delivery cards and a data book, so you just ignore them? Delivery cards. Are so... Sorry. Oh, yeah, but... Not not data. Not even data books, but the delivery cards are like supposedly official, kind of. But like, I still question them. Kind of not right. Because like, didn't didn't the delivery cards say that Shanks, for example, had the highest bounty and. The... Like, that, that was like marketing material from the editors and shit. So you can't trust the editors, you can trust Oda, right? Yep. Yes, SPS Oda clearly does, right? There's like yeah. a certain oh, voice sure. right to it that's kind of like a charming, funny little... Alright, first oh, question. Yeah. Oda says, I have an important report for you on page 23 of volume 87. Sanji kicked Big Mom, right? Where did Sanji... Why did he kick Big Mom? I thought he didn't kick women. Alright. Oda's response, very interesting. I got a few. I got a few letters about this. Yes, everyone's talking about. It, all right, especially about when it happened. All right, but that's not what ha what happened. Big Mom attempted to punch Reiju. Luffy and Sanji stopped her. That's what happened here. This is in, in this scene. However, you can you can't just stop Big Mom's punch by merely catching it. No, you can't catch it. So in order to cancel out the power of her punch, you block it with a kick, which means he's just protecting themselves. It's not a violent action towards a woman. So Sanji never violated his policy. And there it is. What do you think about that response? It's a bit of a twist, to be honest. I, mean, uh, I like it because you did it with Khalifa, right? Like, you can use a kick to block an attack. Sure, but that was like a blocking kick, though. Like, he blew, like he always, like, crossed, the, crossed up a leg and shit. Like, Sanji yeah, that, literally this is like big an attacking move. But, like, okay. Right, I mean, for, me, for me personally, I feel Sanji definitely should be able to overcome his women never he'll uh, never do it he'll never do it but like it would be like because wasn't that what whole cake island in the end was about like his yeah, his luffy. ideals coming into conflict yeah and they were and they were all perfect as said by luffy at the end of the arc so there you go guys i actually do have to go now sorry about that uh, that's all, right. but, that's all, right. uh, all right uh good shit guys uh you, enjoyed man. being on here we'll see you yeah, on episode 100 maybe you guys will be the oh secret, yeah, for sure. Episode 100, I'll be fine. The secret reverie. <laughs> <laughs> you could just like label it the reverie in like parentheses, and like there's nothing anybody could do to stop it. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. See you, dude. Bye. All right. Ah, okay. The cheers to Morge. Uh, back, back to the SBS. All right. So we got a question about eyes. Are in, you know, the 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 16th Division Commander of Whitebeard that's completely irrelevant. Someone yeah. thinks Aizo was a nice cabin and was, uh, you know, one of uh, Odin's commanders. Is that correct? Oda says no. That sh they just look the same. Why would they be the same? Don't be stupid. All right? So Shout everyone, us. cop that L. Everyone who said, Shout cop that L. Shout out to Joy Boy. <laughs> Dumb theories all the time. <laughs> cop that L. Oda says cop yeah. that L, all right? Oda says no. Mm -hmm. And now we have a very interesting little debate raging on in Oda's comment section, apparently. He's talking to some weird pervert about bathhouses and about if Kurumasaki could step on him and all these kinds <laughs> of weird shit. Oda, why are you answering these questions? What are you doing? Can we, you, get, perv. Can we get actual <laughs> questions in the SBS? Because you wasted a whole page just talking to this freak. <laughs> I think that's a purpose. You know, <laughs> obviously it's on purpose. All right, yeah, it's, it's fucking weird because everyone's asking about what's the straw hat and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, um, exactly. And that's basically the power. The SBS we get Usopp at sixty. We get what Griffin, what Shanks' sword would look like if it was a human. You know, all those kind of kind of funny memes about about the new the new SBSs that Oda has to draw now. Like every yeah. SBS. Includes a straw hat at age X, at age 60, age 40. Yeah. And uh, now the new meme is draw the sword as a person. So that, okay. Yeah. All right. 
Moving on to the power scale. Look, every week we come here and it gets harder. Because we're right. characters. Every, we're just, what are we on? Almost 200 characters on this list. Holy. That really, oh, there we go. That really grew. Um, who do I want to oh. talk about? Let's talk. About who? Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, All the characters on this list. Oh, yeah, have have, we, have we done? Have we <laughs> oh, done? There's, pass- there's a pacifist around there. <laughs> PX4. <laughs> yeah. Have we have we done Gin? Gin no, we have from not. Baratier. Probably. No, we have not done Gin. Gin, yeah. Gin. I put in all the machinations. There's no Gin. All right. Gin. Fucked up Sanji. That's true. In the first encounter. He, uh, that is true. San, Sanji got two L's in his arc when he was introduced. Okay. Alright. Uh, do we... What do we say? We say he's beating Arlong. We say he's not beating Arlong. He's not beating Arlong. He's not, he's not trash. He's better than Spandam. He's better than Fonpei. Oh, yeah. Better than Yosuku, Yosuku and Johnny. Does he beat Wobble? I think he... Yeah, I think it's possible that he beats Warpoint. Now, Ooh, do we take it? So. Do we take into account the anime because Batman has Haki apparently and can block? Oh, no, we're not too. taking we're not taking the anime at all for anything. Okay, uh, so no, we're not taking the anime. Well, I'm seeing Don Creek in in there, so I don't yeah. think he'd be strong enough to take on his captain. But he is at least stronger stronger than everyone in Trash Tier. Yeah, for sure. So for I sure. think Low Low is suitable. Sure. You know, we got, you know, characters like uh, Buggy, Kuro. I think he beats Kuro. Do you think he beats Kuro? Um, Gin? Yeah. Oof. Yeah, I'd say. Kuro was pretty well, badass, though. I think Sanji could beat Kuro, so Gin could probably beat Kuro. Yeah, maybe. Would be, yeah. It might be a close call. Yeah, I, th- I think low, low tier is good. All right, that's All right. Gin. Done. Now, Eric's gonna be thinking about early One Piece, early characters. Um, let's let's think got? about the arcs that no one really talks about. All right, let's talk about Thriller Bar characters. Now, all right, you want to talk about John? Ooh. Captain John. Yeah. Captain John doesn't really fucking Legendary. do anything. Uh, gets defeated <laughs> by Brook. Who defeats him? Is it like Frankie? Well, don't they all Am fall I... down the bridge when the uh, bridge collapses? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think they fight in the first place. So they don't fight in the first place, but they're le- apparently legendary characters. So... Yeah. And a general. And a zombie general. A zombie general. Um, it's so hard to pick these random characters and put them on the list, because, like, where do you actually put all them? Alright, so where's Ryu, my lo- uh, high low? High low. They're There's nowhere, nowhere near, near that. Nowhere near right. that. What? They got defeated by a bridge. <laughs> that's true. But but that's like what we're talking about, like not Ryuma. Re- G- zombie uh, Ryuma. Zo- zombie Ryuma. We're not talking about legitimate Ryuma. That would be interesting. Captain John, let's go safe. All right, let's go safe. Captain John, zombie or zombie. Captain John? Zombie. 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 <laughs> what we've seen, all right? What we've seen. Yeah, what we yeah. <laughs> what we've seen. Imagine in the same breath as Shiki, which is interesting. Yeah. Shout out to Shiki. Never going to get a panel where he's actually drawn. Always in silhouette. Yep. Um. Uh, probably in. I don't know. Probably low. He's probably low stronger tier. than. He's stronger than get... fodder. I don't think he's being Arlong. Oh, I think he is. You think he is being Arlong? I mean, he's, he's a zombie. Yeah, I, think, I think the zombie generals are... St- like, looking how strong Ryuma, even as a zombie, was. Okay. I think he's beating Arlong. Do you think he's beating Mr. One? Daz Bones. <sighs> I, don't, I, don't think he's, I don't think he's doing that. I mean, <sighs> there's barely ever any evidence at all. <laughs> yeah. And, so I think, I think low or just... Yeah, just low. I think low is well, fair. Captain well, John. in the context of Thriller Bark, Ryuma is the second strongest zombie after Ort. Yeah. And then we've got a bunch of Gurns. That's true. So I don't think he can be on the team as Ryuma. Mm. 
What's well, the... it's hard to say because we never got to see him fight. Yeah, we're probably never going to see him fight. So, which says something about him. Yeah, which says that I he's just a background character. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go. I, I think we're just gonna go low. I don't think he's beating Mister One. Come now, on. a shout out to the people on Twitter who are doing some sleuthing. Yeah. Uh, Zombie General has a silver axe. So is that yeah, silver axe? Started. Yeah. Silver okay. axe. And the other guy. So maybe. Uh, and also that the yeah. silver axe has on his shield the um, the sword logo. Um. Yeah, the sword logo. Oh, like, well, we don't even know what the sword logo is, so people need to relax. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I think it. What was it? Well, it's on. Movies, uh, I think. It's on Aku in his CP. arm, but that's probably oh, yeah, how. Right. That's yeah. probably how Oda draws swords. I don't know if that's a sword logo. Ohara, do you have a character you want to rescale, or do you want to put on the list? I'm just uh, scrolling through a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Um. I'm thinking how how many I don't see so many characters from one or if I'm right. Do you have all the scabbards? We, we haven't scaled them, them yet because yeah. they haven't done anything. Oh, that's right. What about battles. the scabbards that have done? What about Conjuro and Kinemon? <sighs> there's so See, much debate. There's a massive debate. If you want to do Kinemon, we can talk about it. But I'm telling you, there's a massive subsect of the community that thinks. Kinemon's commander level that he's that he's gonna oh, take yeah. out king. So yeah, it goes know. in both extremes. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. We could do Kinemon and then remove him around if we have to. I guess. All right, so well, I, I guess we're doing Kinemon. Let's try it. Yeah, let's try uh, it. Scared is peak. Scared of Pika can't really do anything against him. Thinks he's gonna die. So let's just say lower than Pika at least. Has hockey. That's true. Has hockey. Has fly cutting techniques. But, like, the question is also, is Kinemon significantly weaker than Azure Doji? I mean, it's implied that he is because they say they have 20 years of training. They have training. Trained, but then again, like, the scabbards were, like, the people that, like, trained under under and for Odin, right? So I mean, you could say that he got defeated by Law single-handedly in... Oh, that's not a detractor, though. Sure, yeah, but... Uh, got... I wouldn't... Cause... He has Listen, owls. He Listen has if owls. you don't know what law does, you get one shot. Yep, exactly. Especially yeah. after what, like, you have to consider what, what happened. Like, we just found out that Kinemon, when, when Dressrosa's happening, like, that, like, how long has it been since, basically, Odin died? Like, a few days? Yeah, few, yeah in his mind, yeah. Like, that's pretty fresh. Okay. Um, he does cut a mini dragon with the help of Brook in, uh... Punk Hazard. Yeah. That's a feat. Does he beat Hody Jones? I don't think he beats yeah. fully roided out Hody Jones. I don't think it's happening. Does he you have the speed? So. Does he have the power? Does he have what it takes? D does he I beat Brook? So. Because. I think actually, I think it's kind of been. So, so first of all, I think in general, I think we still haven't seen everything from. Like, like you say, in general, from the scabbards, we haven't seen everything yet. Also from Kinemon. But from what we've seen so far, I think in Punk Hazard, for the moment, it's been implied that Brook and Kinemon are somewhat on a similar level Ooh, that's when they're fighting good. together also. <laughs> okay. uh, do you notice where Brook is on the list, Ohara? Where is he? I don't he see is him in mid-tier on the Holy Jones level. Oh, really? Yeah. You put him that low? Ooh, I'm not sure. If doesn't I'm, have I'll, hockey. Bro, doesn't bro, have a lot of things, you know. Hmm. Sulking is Brook, 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 Brook strong, uh, weaker than Frankie. Yeah. Uh, that's including Shogun Frankie. Ooh, I'm. Not, I, I think like I, don't, I like post time skip Brook a lot. We like Brook like yeah. shot in Whole Cake Island. Yeah, but Holy, Brook got absolutely demolished. Remember, after, uh, rem remember. Right. Soul King is cool, but it doesn't do anything against apart from, normal uh, people. Yeah. Against normal people, it only does things against chess soldiers. Right, as we see in Wano when he tries to scare away people. Yep. So Ohara well, saying mid tier. Would, that's interesting. That might have been his soul, but yeah, his soul. Well, I think. Do I mean, I I personally think that the scabbards all have to fulfill a certain level of strength. Because 
Sure. Like co always considering that the Marines, like including, including a Kainu who is usually running wild. Like don't are kind of like have respect for well, their Odin, fighters. Well, Odin's gonna be absolutely crazy. We all know that. Yeah, but I think like like what it's what is always implied is that like the country itself that their warriors in general are crazy. Yeah, we all know that was before Orochi took over and fucked everything. So that is true. Yeah. But like still considering that like Kinemon, I mean it's possible that Kinemon is just the leader of the scabbards because he's the oldest or the smartest. Do you, think, I, like, do you think? Do you think? Do you think he's Osho Doji level? Um, I think Osho Doji has the time advantage where he's trained and fought, so I think he's not as strong as Shutamaru at the moment. But I think he's not that far below. Also, so, does does Kidimon beat Robin? Yeah, I think he does. Does, does Kidimon beat Frankie? Kidimon beat Kiros. Kuros is also one of those characters that is so hard to judge, right? Exactly. Um, I think, I think, might be, might be similar. I could see that like being a drawn out fight okay, so between Kuros go... and. It looks like high mid tier. Is looks yeah, like sounds fair level. enough. So I ran With Donch the... in jail. Oh, right. I see Smoker. I think oh, yeah, uh... I see Smoker and so on and so forth. Like that's that's yeah. something I could I could live with. Yeah. Uh, all right. Manga. All right. All right, Kinemon high, high mid for now. Could go down, could go up. But no, Kinemon really fanboys, yeah. you gotta relax. We'll see it soon, All right. hopefully. All right, Kinemon fanboys, gonna come out strong. All right, relax. that's a power all scale. Right. Questions next, Christian. We got a lot of questions. All right, so. <laughs> Let's go. Questions. Let's right. go. From Gabe Morgan, can you power scale the stairs in Zoro's hometown? I mean, they did take that body, you know. They've got, they've got something. Uh, would it be Arlong? Those stairs? Nah, I don't think those stairs beat Arlong. I don't know. Uh, it's a uh, meme question. They, they might beat Spandam though. Those stairs. Yeah, that's true. The, the stairs would beat Spandam. Maybe John, Johnny and Josico would be defeated by the stairs. So sure. we'll, you know, we'll, so we'll, we'll, we'll consider it. You know. All right. From Captain Ulrich, will you guys ever stop wanking Shanks and start praising the God Hawk and Lava Boy? No, we will not stop. Yeah. <laughs> All right. God Hawk never fought Emperor Shanks, confirmed. And Magma Coon, sweaty all the time. All right. So they don't deserve it. All right. From uh, Dev. Uh, uh, hang on. Uh -huh. What do you think about Aka and his characterization after he becomes Fleet Admiral? Well, to be fair, I I personally already judged that kind of like when we first got to meet him pre time yeah. skip. I already put him in, like in the in the draw. Yeah, meet him. Dead. Like he just like knows burn ask questions later. Now I actually kind of yeah. I like I like that he's like it makes more sense to me that he's the lead admiral, right? Because like he thinks he actually can like despite like appearing so aggressive. Focused on yeah, so aggressive and like focused on oh everyone must follow the rules otherwise you must die. Like he's actually pretty, pretty cool headed. Yeah, as a fleet admiral, so, I like that. And I think you can see that pre time skip. Like for example, when he like plays Whitebeard, like when he plays um, yeah. his subordinate into stabbing him. So you can cool. see that. Yeah. Yo, that's the name. All Thanks. right, Captain Ulrich, again. Will you guys ever find the interview proving Z is canon? We've talked about this so many times. There is no interview <laughs> proving Z is canon. I don't know why people insist that Z isn't canon. Uh, okay. There you go. Probably there's people out there that absolutely hate Z being canon for some reason. Even though it fits perfectly within the story. Or whatever. You know, whatever. Sure. From Abu Seal. Is it unrealistic to believe that Dragon has a 10 billion berry bounty? <laughs> yes. Yes. The Pyro King. It's a, it's a bit ridiculous. You don't need to go that far. Six yeah. billion, I think, is fair enough. All right. All right. Second question. Roger had a bounty of five point five billion. We all know Luffy will surpass Roger. I might get a bounty of of five point six. Yeah. All right. I get it. Every every YouTuber made a video on this. I've seen this theory a million times. Okay. Fair enough. Because yeah. the Gomu Gomu number thing. Okay. It's a fun fact. Thank you. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> all right. Every, I've seen it all week. Every watch YouTube... Luffy. What now? Watch Luffy be like fifteen mil. Yeah. Every every YouTuber comes out with this theory this week. I'm like, everyone. That's the. <sighs> you know. All right. Everyone comes out with it. Don't don't relax. <laughs> don't just do zeitgeist shit. All right. Come out. Come out with interesting theories. Christian are now attacking the audience. Oh, I'm, I'm, taking, I'm not taking the audience. I'm taking the community. All right. Okay. Do you guys believe Owen was the first division can commander or the second division commander on Whitebeard's ship? Uh, I think it doesn't really matter because I don't think they're ranked according to strength necessarily, but also like when they joined the crew. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. Well, it would be kind of weird if Whitebeard's right hand man abandons him. So Mar <laughs> Marco joins Whitebeard at what age? Because Whitebeard was like 30. Yeah. yeah. Whitebeard was 30 at the Roxy Center, right? At the God Valley. Something like that. So, so Marco's like 18? How long was the God Valley? 35? 36 years? It was uh, 38, 38 years ago. 38 years. So Marco's like was... three. How old was Marco? Marco? How old was Marco? He's like 40 something. He's not that old. Yeah. So then Whitebeard didn't have his crew yet. Yeah. yeah so... so you assume Whitebeard makes his crew after they get defeated. Yeah. But Odin was there 25 years, 20... But then you also have to consider, like, we don't know, like, when he actually started to become a Commodore. Like, might be that Whitebeard just was a captain for a long time, and then, like, yeah. his initial crew... Yeah. I don't know. ...was it's split into the divisions. But it did say Rox gathered the crews, then, didn't it? Or was sure, it just... Like, the that was 40 years ago. I think, I think it just said that the strong pirates came together, not right. necessarily it was the crew. crews. We don't necessarily... Like, the timeline's weird, because you don't necessarily why wouldn't, know... Why wouldn't you bring your crew along as well? I guess yeah, but how long was Orochi on... Not Orochi. How long was Odin on Whitebeard ship for? Because we know 25 years ago was on well, Roger's was, ship. How many he wasn't how, at the God Valley. Yeah, so he wasn't at the God Valley. Shouldn't have been. No. So, at what time did... Odin joined Whitebeard. Yeah, the timeline's still up in the air about that. Depends. Yeah. yeah, it depends. It doesn't really matter, you know? I guess it's do you like think uh, Just on Whitebeard for a second, do you think we'll get characterization after Rox is defeated and him maybe turning into a good guy or something? Because I guess we've already seen him young as a good guy. Maybe he the defeat was so devastating, he ch changed his worldview or something, but I guess we've already seen him young. Well, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe more characterization for Whitebeard to come. Alright, from every single good one. Hopefully. Can each of you name two Devil Hooks you would prefer to have? One suited for One Piece World and one suited for the real world. Uh, One Piece World, give me that light fruit. Just teleport okay. everywhere, alright? Be an OP, destroying everything. For the real uh, world, I'll take the, the Oda answer. Give me Robin's fruit so I get extra hands, can draw extra stuff, extra stuff, alright? I'm gonna go for both One Piece and real life. Yeah. Guilt to Sorrow's Devil Fruit. Just make infinite gold. Oh, I'll just be just be wealthy and have <laughs> okay. a and have a very strong Devil Fruit. Okay. There you go. That sounds chill. But you need to collect the I gold. Think I go for it. You need that to collect be... the gold to be strong. You could pull it out. Of, you could you could pull it out of the ground. You could figure it out. You have to go prospecting. All right. <laughs> you just you just rip it out of the ground with your tail for magic. You just steal it out of jewelry stores. Now, do you think, do you think Guilt of Sorrow requires awakening to sense gold, or can he sense gold with the tail for it? Well, if he has awakening, he can't you just turn the ground into gold? Yeah, well, he does have awakening, doesn't he? I don't think so. Maybe. He's he controls gold that he made. He, that he is in make. the ship. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think he's yeah. awakening. Have you seen a uh, stampede yet, or is it in Europe yet? Sorry, is it in Yeah, I've seen it last last week. Comes out in Australia in November. Oh, it was nice. It was good. It was good. I liked it. Did it live up to the hype? Cramped. Um. Well, I, I feel it was. There was a lot of fan service in there, but I still like it was great watching. Is it. there any sweet Roger law, or can we not expect much? Yeah, I think there is. I think I can. Yeah. Definitely. There's, definitely. All right. So this Lord, it's there's, not just all, it's not just all flashing there's lights. A, there's a drip and drop of, uh, of Roger in there. <laughs> all right. Moving on. From John A. Does do the girls say no about sword? I would say no. This is a. This is a sort of. 
in deep marine only organization to counter CP0. That's what I think Sword is. Okay. What do you think? What do you think? I'm fine. Did the girls say no? I don't know. I don't think they do. All right. From S S Y C. For Morge. Too bad he's not here. All right. Yeah. I'll read the question anyway. Uh, is this where he he thinks the plan goes off the rails completely, or there is more plan to follow? I think he. Thinks about I think he thinks that Stroy has to be defeated and then they'll come back and there'll yeah. be a big emotional impact with that defeat. Yes. Alright. For Ohara. For Ohara. Do you think Ooh. Straw Hats are doing a Trojan horse and infiltrating the festival along with the procession? We yes. see Straw Hats lookalikes <laughs> in the chapter. We talked about that as well, yes. Yes, I do believe that. Just so just so I can say I wasn't crazy when I saw the Straw Hats in the last chapter. Okay, all right. <laughs> For us, do we think Shanks is going to show up God, with, I hope so. with Buggy? Bring Buggy along for extra Why not? Moments, Who cares? Right? For a bit of meme. Yeah. It's a good time. Red Taro coming in. All right, from Jordan Lee. Do you think it's uh, plausible that Onan is uh, the representation of Oda in One Piece? A little bit of self-insert character. No. He's, He's from no. Wano, Japan. All right. Okay, that's one connection. There you go. Yeah. He is from Japan. He is from Wano. Oda is from Japan. That's true. Yeah. Two, he is hyped and silhouetted and is important to overall story. So, like, Oda never shows himself as well. Okay. I think Oda's the kind of guy, like, if he wrote himself into the story, he would be, like, more of a quirky character. He'd yeah. be yeah, Sanji. He'd be mean. Yeah. He said he'd be Sanji. He'd be perverted. No, probably, he'd probably be Mark. He'd probably be Brooke, to be honest. He's, yeah, he's always, Brooke, he's always talking cool. about Pope. He's always talking about girls. All right. Yeah. I, I don't really... Their names are similar. Okay. I, I, I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know if it's a sound insert character, Jordan. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to say no on that one. All right? From JDB... Do you think the One Piece anime will spoil Onan's design before it's shown in the manga? No, they're not going to do that. Well, How are they going to do that? Not. I don't even know what it looks like. Mm-hmm. They're going to be. They might be wrong, like they were with Kaido and Big Mom, with that weird well, ass. The, the, the most we've seen of him is when uh, um, Kinemon talks about him, and he's slightly less silhouetted. Yeah, he's got that fat mustache. He's got that fat mustache and that, you know, samurai gear. Yeah. All right, from Eric Romo, who drinks the most sake uh, in one sitting? The God King, Kaido, Roger White. It's it's the God King. Shanks drinks all the alcohol. All right, that's that's obvious. If you can believe it or not, he drinks more than his weight in sake. Easily, easily. All right, all right. Second question all the time. How awesome is Owning going to look and at what rank would you put him in the tier list for funniness? Designs. Like, what does his design be, gonna look like? Is it gonna be, be wacky? Gif, yeah, it'll be gift or style. There'll be something quirky about him, but he's gonna look cool. Okay. As Oda does. We can already see with the hair. Yeah. Yeah. Well I don't know if that's a hat or not. People saying it's a hat, people saying it's hair. We'll see. Okay. From uh, Captain Ulrich, again, what if Nami predicted a storm at the port and told Frankie to ye- yeet it out of there because they c- were caught off guard by whatever Orochi came up with? Well, they weren't there, so that can't be true. So there also, you, go. you expect Luffy to let a storm stop him. Also, you expect Nami to not navigate that storm. Disappointing. I don't think so. Uh, as we discussed during the chapter... It looks like Orochi just destroyed the port and nothing else. If only we had a legendary helmsman that could sense the waves to get us to Onigashima. Oh, is this Jimbei coming in? Maybe. All right, from Danto. Uh, what was this 20-year-old dream Onan wanted to see to fruition? Uh, opening it's the opening borders. the borders. Open the borders, yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now, do we think that he knew he couldn't be Shogun? Mama but he was, was already. Uh, do you think... Well, he says he doesn't expect to be after he But he is. His... But he was. So, 
It's yeah. he's already confirmed he was Shogun. Why twenty years? Did, was he gonna pass his will on to his son and wait for his son to grow up? I don't, I don't know. know. It, we'll, we'll find. It's all cri very cryptic. I guess we'll find out. You know. The timeline is so confusing and weird. From Wall Sam said, "Will Oda get to do the Onan flashback this year? Oh, we hope. All right, we this hope. This year, there's what ten year. chapters left this year. There's more than ten. No, uh, December's pretty dead. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. I guess. Yeah, about yep. ten chapters. Please, Oda, please get Max. started." Please start this year, please. <laughs> Maybe for Christmas. Yeah, Christmas present. The uh, Odin flashback starts. All right. But what Sam said, will Odin? Oh, I already read that. Well, from Man Tech Toll, will Buggy Jiro alliance with Shanks Taro for the Swedish Yonko protection? Uh, will Buggy go under Shanks for the Yonko protection? It possible. I think, uh, I think Buggy becomes an emperor after Wano for a meme. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> he somehow gets all the credit for taking. I'm the actually, card. I'm actually, I'm actually uh, finishing my video on Buggy, so I'm not gonna. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Buggy. Right Shout out to Buggy, man. Yeah, yeah. he's become. Uh, he's definitely grown far, far beyond what anyone would have thought possible for him. For sure. His all right. <laughs> From hyphen Sama, with all the Odin silhouettes still happening, do you guys think? His character design is somewhat someone we already know. Yeah, we already kind of talked about that. No. Probably not, but why uh, silhouette for this long? I don't know if I was saying this this podcast, but I think the silhouette is going... We're going to see his evolution as a man through his design. So we'll see teenage, young, yeah. teenage young man, no. old man, prime. I think there's a couple of explanations for this, right? Like... Either what you say, it's just like Oda not wanting to, like, yeah, wanting to grow the character. I mean, he's been doing this. Story. Also, he's been doing the silhouette thing more and more and more, and it, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, sure. it's crazy. But, but I guess Rainbow, there's still oh, also yeah. the option that either it's someone we already know, or that Odin's actually still alive. Who and he could like, I mean, that's be? maybe not. Yeah. Who could it be? What if it's Grimble? I mean, we haven't seen Grimble exactly. either, but. Um, they both have a similar chin. It's a Scopa Gabon. I mean, they work in the same place. <laughs> in the same the same time. Um, is it? Oh, fuck, I don't know. Is it? <laughs> is it? Uh, is it? Uh, fucking what's his name? Denjiro. Why would, yeah. why would Odin be Denjiro? You mean, uh, fucking uh, Kurosh, no, is it Kurashiro? Is Kurashiro Odin the whole uh, the whole time? Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Alright. Alright. Let's just move on from that, right? Is it Smoker? Smoker? Is it Mayhawk? Oh, no. Is it, <laughs> yeah, if, you could even, if you could even pull it. Alright. From Jody T. What's your favorite theory? And and if you have any of your favorite theories... What? What is your favorite theory? Alright, what is your favorite theory, basically? Hmm. Uh, Maybe theory that uh, one was the final war. <laughs> That's your theory. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite theory is that uh, that the red line will be broken down at the end of One Piece. I like that thought. Okay, mm. it's cool. I mean, I hate a lot of theories. Everyone knows. Yeah, Eric hates every theory ever made. So I'm not a big theory person either, but. I think that's nice. What's my favorite theory? I mean... Oh, wait, can I cross that out? I'm yeah, actually sure. going for my favorite theory is that Straw Hat's gonna die before the end of the story. Ooh, I hate Straw Hat. Is yeah. it the one... I think Usopp's Usopp is gonna die before the end of the story, to be more precise. Does he get his dream first, though? Um, I think he already has fulfilled then, his dream, which nah. makes him the ultimate... He's not a, I mean, he's not a brave warrior to see. Yeah, he is, man. He needs that. Oh, yeah. He needs that Kinda power. is, but not really. He needs to be Yasop level. I don't know if like brave in like for Usopp necessarily means being super strong. Like, do you that, think that he just... will join the monster trio when he reaches his full potential? <sighs> Possible. Would be nice to see, but yeah. I mean, I think him, I think him meeting his father is going to be a big character moment for him and realizing Definitely. he's being a man and stuff. Yeah, definitely. 
and also that his dad was probably not good at parenting. Because <laughs> he wasn't. Yeah, yeah. But, but don't worry about that. That's what I'm saying in One Piece, all right? <laughs> Usopp yeah. understands that his father had the call to see. Everyone understands that. <laughs> Call the boost. <laughs> right. From Boss Rockley, greetings RFP. Do you think SSG could be a way to temporarily give a Marine a devilry power with no consequence? For instance, the Marines headed for the warlords who... Wait. Headed to the warlords could have perfect counters for their powers. Uh, I don't... I don't really know. I think it's a. I think it's a wep like a weapon or a, or a mech. What that? They have an anti sword though for it. Yeah, for me, Hawk. I guess the diamond for Eric. How can you forget oh, the diamond for it? Of course. How can you forget the diamond for it? Uh, uh, I don't think so. I think it's more to do with like super pacifistas or maybe like an ancient weapon, yeah. kind of light, kind of thing. I'm not necessarily so sure about like a devil fruit generator. What if they're lightsabers? That's crazy. Oh, it does like Star Wars. Lightsabers. I think they're going to have to actually be something of consequence. Sure. All right. Eric, Eric thinks the commander level, first commander level, which is crazy. But it's know, possible. We move it on. We move it on. All right. From Matt. Is it possible that Orochi is actually a threat? I mean, it's possible, but, yes. you know, it doesn't it's look possible. very strong. <laughs> I expect Kidamon to fight um, Orochi, Orochi, so... Okay. We'll see. Right. I think it's Hiori. Hiori? Probably. Okay. I hope it. it's Hiori. I really do. I but... think she wants to fuck him up. Okay. I don't know. How, how, where is she? All these questions. Yeah. You... Right. I mean, if Orochi's a fucking goon, then she could fuck him up. That's true. So, there you go. From Razzy. Hey, guys. Seems like Wano has a... Females can't be warriors themes going on about it. Even going back to Kawina since her father is 100% for Wano. Was wondering what you think about Hiroi being the witching out boy and the, the one who could 1v1 Orochi at the end. Oh, we just talked about it. Possible. This. We already talked about this many times. Um, well, the whole women not being warriors thing is indeed a Japanese thing. And but he hasn't really talked about it in Wano. Wano. Like, uh, has he really talked about it in Wano? Uh, it, it's not a theme. I don't think it's a theme in Wano itself. Like, no character, no female character is trying to break that shackle. It's not really focused upon. Yeah. Um, even, like, things with, um... Uh, Kiku. Kiku is weird. With, like, she doesn't do anything. or kind of tells her to, to attack. Uh, she's actually a man. Which doesn't really mean anything, but... I don't know. Shinobu's there, I guess. Big Mom's the threat. But Shinobu's you know? a meme. <laughs> she can't even, like, I mean, handle bladed weapons. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I hope, I hope Queen does. I hope, um... He already does something, though. Maybe. Yeah. Right. Also, quick question from Warja Nahara. Can you guys believe that Christian isn't co-host yet? Thanks for reading and answering. Now, I understand that O'Hara is the co-host of his own show. Uh, apparently I'm the guest every week. You are the guest. There you go. And I'm the host. That's how it is. There you go. From, uh, Solomon. Why is Owner still silhouetted? Yeah. You know, you're asking us, we've, we've answered this so many times. Uh, if you're, if you're going to listen to more just for emotional payoff, that's going to be worth it. Okay, but like, we've talked about this so many <laughs> times. We get it, Hopefully. Right? Yes, we hopefully. Get we get it. Hopefully it all pans out. What if it's crocodile? What do you think about that? Uh, if it's crocodile, that would be dope. That'd be crazy. <laughs> yeah, and he has amnesia, therefore. Uh, yeah, you know. we're using that again. Yeah, we're using the new amnesia amnesia plotline again. Okay. Uh, from DR, I guess it's confirmed that Kyo is not from the egg. Uh, okay. Oh. What's the deal with the egg? Uh, it's just the egg. It's probably uh, <laughs> a room, it's, like Eric said. It's a kitchen. It's the, it's the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. From Mala Lala. Have you heard the theory that Kaido is a a drawing of Konjiro and Konjiro is a true mastermind? I mean, that's some, that's some uh, 4D chess right there from Konjiro. That must be Konjiro's masterpiece. Mas masterpiece. Master, master art. Yeah, he must have had help with that one. Maybe from Usopp. Usopp and... Uh, they made him together. I don't, yeah. yeah. I don't know about that. All right. 
What's just... Conjure gonna do in the final war? What's he gonna make? Make another his... meme. Meme another dragon. Meme. meme dragon versus Carter. Renosuke returns. Sure. From uh, Mount Moot, do you think Luffy and the others are inside the giant uh, palacrim <laughs> thing? <laughs> oh, Hara yes. does. There you go. It's possible. I wouldn't be surprised if they are. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. I'm just wondering who is like responsible for that then. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe well, Kirishiro came to him and Law, was maybe. like, this is what's happening. Law, yeah. Yeah. What are the chances of Kirishiro being the Mazda Hunt mind behind the gang's disappearance as if, as if like a blessing in disguise for the good guys? Or is the third party along? Do you think Kirishiro has something to do with this? Possible. <sighs> He's a mysterious character. We still don't really know if he's Denjiro or not. All that kind of stuff. Yeah. So there you go. Alright. From Rowan. What are your opinions on Stampede? About to watch it in Perth. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, Ahara, Ahara already thinks it's good. So there you is go. It, is, it, is it the best movie? Does it surpass Z? Does it surpass... Uh, well, oh. Z was pretty cool. Um... It's it's different, very different, I would say. I I like, um, it. Z had a more serious tone to it. I feel. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to give. It, okay, I'm I'm trying to f frame this in a way without spoiling too much. Um, I like the payoff more, I guess, of uh, Stampede. Okay. okay. So and it's but it's more like. Does it have exceptions? Is it the emotional factor that Z had. No. I, no, I think it's no. not as emotional. It's more of a, like in large parts, it's more of a fun movie, I guess, to watch. Okay, okay. there it is. But it's definitely it was definitely cool. Like, is it a must sure. watch for One Piece fans? Required watching. Yeah. Yes. And okay, I, yeah. I guess in the cinema, it's better than at home. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. From Bill Nguyen, in the Roger Flags back this chapter, they were at sea with sparkling water effects on the surface. Uh, this effect usually draws with treasure and or gold that something is glowing. Could it be at the one piece? No. That's, a, that's, a, that's a stretch. <laughs> I do say so myself. Glistening water cushion romantic scene. But it could be... It could be the one piece, right? I doubt it. I doubt that the one piece was hiding underwater and Roger found it. Yeah. Uh, you know. From uh, Stephen Moody. Do you think... Conjuro could be the trade of the alliance as only the minks, Kinemon, Kinemon, Raizo, and Conjuro knew that Raizo was at Zoe, and Conjuro has already acknowledged all of the plans. He knows all the plans and what's going on in Wano. If it's Conjuro, it's like, okay, but like, he's such a background character. So, like, does it, does it have that payoff, you know? Mm. I don't know. I, I could I could see it being Conjurer to be fair, but yeah, I'm still. I mean, I'm I'm just at this point. I'm just like really curious who's gonna be like just gonna be surprised. I guess I'm gonna throw Beppo into the camp of the trader. Oh, there you All go. Right, there you go, Beppo. Shinobi was correct. Yeah. All right. From Son D Lollipop, how close is the relationship between Kaido and Orochi? Everyone is terrified of Kaido, even Jack and Queen, but Orochi has. Orochi had so far shown no fear or cowardice towards him or his name. How Kaido himself says Orochi is ruthless. Well, I think they said that they were drinking partners every year, weren't they? Yeah, the good drinking partners. They get drunk together. I think they'll have a very good relationship. Yeah, yeah I think it's a good sure. relationship. Yeah. I don't think, uh, yeah. Orochi, more of a cunning mastermind type character. And Kaido is all about that brute strength. So you, sure. get, you, get, you get both roles there. Alright. From Captain Ulrich. For all of you, name your favourite ship and the one you support. Uh, for example, Boa X Bartolomeo. Uh, well, you oh, know, ship is in relationship. Yeah, we don't necessarily... Uh, Heavy he may and Christian. Oh, come on, man. Don't make that... Don't make that a podcast. That's what, I, that's what I support. I'm kind of out of the podcast. I support that too. Don't, don't support <laughs> it. There you go. Shouts uh, to Heavy. I guess I'm not. I mean, Shanks I'm not. and Monaco. That's already that's canon. That's confirmed. What do you mean? Don't have a trial together. Exactly. 
Huh? Alright, it's got a question for O'Hara. This is for O'Hara. Mm. Predictions of when we'll find out what happened to Vivi. When or what? When. No, uh, what <laughs> and when. Both. Ooh, ooh. I think, like, I think Vivi's alive. Okay. Uh, I think... I think she's on the run. Okay. <laughs> I think well. To be fair, I would be I would be up for a reun- like reunion between Vivi and the Straw Hats. I'm not sure if that's what Oda's going for or not, because Vivi's like that kind of character that I can see being like the Bran Stark of the One Piece world. Like, yeah, you know. Just um, I feel around. Oda might want to put Vivi at the top once everything's over. Okay. All right. But yeah, I think I think it'll be some time before we know what happened to her. Mm. Okay. Maybe right. Act Three, end of Act Three. Yeah. From Ethereal, who is your favorite scabbard? Uh, Nekomamushi, I guess. Nekomamushi, how could you forget? Ooh, for me it's Kiku. Kiku, okay, that's interesting. Kiku's cool. <laughs> that cool armor got him over the line. Yeah, that okay. armor and that demon mask, dude, that's just dope. From Frazzle or Freddy, do you think Shanks or Whitebeard? Uh, tried to help Odin when Kaido was messing with his country. He ruled Odin kind of there for 20 years. Yeah, we talked about this already. It's possible, but I doubt it. Otherwise, Kaido wouldn't have won. So. Yeah, yeah. There, there, there's something going on there. Yeah. Like, you know, Odin had the 20 year plan. Maybe that's, there's a thing going on. Yeah. Alright. From Jordan Lee. What are your top three chapters of OP? Uh, would nine Jesus. five would nine five seven make it on your list? For me, the last chapter I was excited for was that one. You know, what do you, you know, think? Give me top three, top three chapters. You can go like uh, hype is like in the moment. I think emotional impact lasts forever. Sure. Yep. I don't. I don't know if like nine nine five seven is going to be one of those chapters where it's like. Yeah, that's fucking sick. But you know, you you can't you can't forget the Sunny die, the Mary dying, Ace dying, uh, Robin shouting for freedom, Robin and freedom, Zoro's the strides being defeated, Zoro saying Kuma. being alone on Sabote, Zoro saying yeah. nothing happened, Shang stopping the war. I mean, of course. Of course. All right. I mean, chapter one. How could you forget? That's probably my favorite. Okay, chapter one. There you go, Romance Dawn. Chapter one's pretty cool. All right. From David Land, SSG Sea Stone Guns. Maybe it's got to be better than Sea Stone Guns. There's no, there's no way it's just Sea Stone Guns. Mayhawk doesn't have a door for it, and it looks like it's guns. Yeah, I mean, okay. You couldn't be furious with the SSG. I don't know. No. No. Okay. Okay. From Ziad, uh, should you not move Garp to top tier now? Well, in the past, sure, but all men. So high, high tier. Okay. Sure. He said himself he'd lost half his power. Strength. Ah. Yeah. From Walter Gerard. Gerard? All right. Man, technology replacing humans is many things in the real world. Humans still need to use it, but uh, swords replace guns, etc. What makes you think technology can replace a takeover of the warlords? I don't think it can. I think the Marines are going to stuff themselves. And they're going to be in a very weak position. Okay. All right. From CB... From Abu Seal again. Red Force Podcast. I feel like you should add King level to the tier list uh, above top tier and add Gold Roger by himself. If you want to put Garp in there, that's fine. But Roger were to fight any of the Yonko, he would... Absolutely the win. What do you guys think? No. We're not adding extra tears to the tier list, alright? It's the way tier it list is. Tier list the tier list, alright? All right. From Return the Slab. Watch your more ridiculous One Piece theory that you actually believe could happen. Shanks turning up to Wano. I was about to say that. There you go. Shanks turning up to Wano. From Calvin T. <laughs> So many questions. Crazy. Yeah, we're almost done. We're almost done. <laughs> we're almost done. 
How do you see the start of Oni Shima raid going? Uh, I just... Not as you expected. Oh, <laughs> Roji thinks he's won already, so... You think there's gonna be like a storming the beach, or like them busting into the, the mansion, or going through a back entrance or something? I think it's a back entrance. I think they're gonna try to be sneaky. Yeah. And then yeah. fuck it up completely. Um, yeah. 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 Second question. They'd probably be caught. Luffy just fucking King Kong's the mansion. Yeah. I'm here. <laughs> that would be dope. Second question. How many straw hats do you think will attain Emperor level after the, the disband after the straw hats disband? And they go to One. Second. Uh probably Luffy and Zoro. That's about uh, it. After they after uh, Is it like the Roger Pirates where they just retire? I don't know. Depends. Hard uh, to say. Who said they're gonna disband? Maybe they're together forever. That's also true. And l live happily ever after. <laughs> Sail into the sunset. Yeah. Yeah. That's how one piece is gonna end. <laughs> Next question from Look Up Goose Goose on YouTube. I'm gonna say don't look that up. I'm guessing that's a okay. trap. All right. No. If Roger and Whitebeard had a Davy back pot fight at one of, and they traded Odin, is that possible? Nah. Uh, the baby back fight's such a meme. I wish Morge was here to talk about it, but it's the most <laughs> randomest nonsense in the story that I don't think is ever going to be brought up again. Okay, so Eric says no. Mm. There you go. But, I don't know. Yeah. It's like I one of the very few things in the story that I honestly don't like. Like, yeah. really don't like. Like, that's... When rewatching this... I mean, I understand why there's some people who kind of dig it, but... Yeah, it's me, okay when, like, Zoro teaches Chopper some stuff and... Oh, yeah. I mean, those... That's but, fun. But, like, the concept itself seems so ridiculous. Yeah. Like, maybe it's... Maybe it's because we only saw it with the Foxy Pirates. Like, maybe it would be different... If you had a more serious, but even then, like, could you could you see like, I don't know, like Big Mom it's against a fun, Luffy, yeah. and then Katakuri's yeah. with the ball on its head? It's a fun concept, but like, it had never happened with like high level dudes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. From uh, Ravi R, how strong would a crew of all the sh sh of all the wards in the series be, including, you know, Kuma, Crocodile, and uh, Moria? Strong. That's a strong very crew. Strong. A very strong crew. You'd, who'd who'd captain that? Would that oh, be Mayhawk. Mingo? It'd have to be Mayhawk. Mayhawk isn't the captain though. Like Mayhawk's yeah, more of a right hand man. You know. I think Mingo would be the one to be the king. Sure. Don't for Mingo and Crocodile would fight to be the captain. Maybe Kuma would be that calm head captain. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe Kuma could could ring them all in. I but, mean, someone would have. To, I don't know. There wouldn't be Emperor level Probably because Bulma. no one's Emperor level, but there'd be. <laughs> It'll be a very oh. strong crew. A very strong crew. A crocodile's trash, we all know that, but... Yeah. You know. Alright. From Young Halloween, also known as Young Obama, is Odin in full body armament hockey, or is he just silhouetted? Full body uh, armament could be possible. He has the Del Fruit, which... Uh, absorbs all takes light. All, absorbs all light. Yeah. The silhouette, silhouette fruit, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's the, the silhouette started with like characters talking about other characters, so I guess it kind of made sense. And now it's just absolute nonsense. Uh, they're in broad daylight, and they're just black. From Kinderheim, he's talking about the uh, official translation with uh, Odin saying about the twenty-year dream. Yeah, we already talked about that. So yeah, there's a there, yeah. there's some it's sort of clear that there's, there's a specific reason for the twenty years. Yeah, and, that was already hinted at before. And apparently Kaido just pulled an extra 10,000 men out of nowhere. Yeah, I noticed that. I don't... That's a bit weird. Because last week they said 30,000. Are they counting Big Mom? Did Big Mom bring resources? Bro, brought 10,000 of her crew members into Wano. Just a bunch of chess pieces in Katakuri. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm down with that. Alright. Uh. So yeah, he got 10,000 men out of nowhere. That's alright. I don't necessarily know what that's about. But yeah. Alright. From the original Patron Guts... Who would win a 2v2 in the mirror world? King Recon and Cole, King of Lightning, versus mm -hmm. Taking and Dritz. King, oh, King, 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 King Recon. Recon. <laughs> what are we even talking double... about? King, King is a giant man, all right? He's got the drop kick that he always Doesn't... talks about. And he's, and he's got that defense. And King Recon is the ultimate coach. Yeah. Just slap him with the towel. Yeah. King Recon would just be giving Cole the pep talk to take them both out. Exactly. 
What, what do you think Dritz and Tekken could do to Cole? <laughs> yeah, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Right? No weapons allowed, apparently. So not even that. All right. There you go. From Boogeyman Bogard, how many shanks is Kaido? Infinite. We already talked about this. All right? Sh shanks is the sum of all infinites. How He's many times strongest, have you said He's the God King. We all know this, all right? Well, also, how many... What did he say? How many shanks is his Kaido? How many... Times Shanks is Kaido. What? How many times in? Whatever. Yeah, it's a weird question, alright? The answer is. Does Shanks that imply is that how many Shanks is, is equals Kaido? I don't know, man. The answer which is. Be, Shanks which is would be negative. Kaido. Which would be negative infinite. What, you know, whatever, alright? Whatever. whatever. Alright. And uh, from. What? From Jankus. I thought Rome was done, Christian. Yeah, Rome was done. Two more questions. Oh. From Jankus. <laughs> Why does Oda try to confuse us with time jumping? I don't know. He likes to time jump. Apparently. I don't think. I don't think he's time jumping in this chapter. I know people well, have asked that. Uh, I think it's. I think it's 20, all at the same time. Yeah. yeah there's I twenty think, years. There's twenty five years. There's a bunch of years going out. Yeah, and all this stuff. Yeah. I've been here. There's been a bunch <laughs> of time jumping in Wano. It's all, it's all right. I don't know. It's confusing. It's not that confusing. So we're about. <laughs> so we're about the locations and the port names and where everyone is. I think that's a little yeah. confusing. But yeah. No. From Lord Zarkon. Uh, what are your hopes for Act 3? Fights? War. Flashbacks? That kind of stuff, you know? Everything that Wano is promised and built upon. In Act 3, give it to us. Yes. Right? Yeah. From Red Robin Podcast, do you guys think Orochi is a good villain? He's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Not we'll see. He's. We'll see how good of a villain he is in the Odin flashback and what he did. Can be better. Yeah. <laughs> I think Kaido is the big daddy, but we still don't know anything about Kaido. That's true. It's so weird. This arc is so weird, dude. Like, I get Morge's point, but like, there's not really any villain. They're just fighting to prepare for the battle. Like, yeah, it's set up, man. Like the villain isn't even involved in the arc, really. Yeah. Whatever. All right. From Majid, from Mr. Bosch and I, from Mr. Bosch, did Ohara video make you care about Jinbei? Did it make yeah, you care? Yeah, that's the real question. I wanted to ask him that. He actually said yes, so that's fine. Okay, he there said you he go. Still, he still doesn't dick him, but it's better. Yeah, huh? I remember Morj saying that Jinbei is just a mix of everyone and it would just reduce all the other characters' roles in the true crew. From, yeah. from, from I think that's what he said last time from, about Jinbei. From Anthony Plan, is Jinbei being dead a real possibility? I don't think so. No, no. Stop I don't asking. Think, I don't think he's going to be dead off screen. Why would no. Oda kill Jinbei off screen? I don't think that's happening. Exactly. All right. Last question from Light Ruler. For next for the next break, can y'all consider a rundown of Act Two? We'd love to hear your opinions on it. As yeah, show. we'll do it eventually at the end of the year at some point when there's heaps yeah. of breaks. End of the year recap will yeah. probably happen. Um, Ohara, why is Jinbei underrated as a character? Because he's had such great moments, and everyone's like, "Who cares?" Is it because he's not? Um, yeah, I think I think people have a problem with Jinbei getting that character development that like some characters on the strike who don't get. Yeah, yeah or not, like, not to an extent. Like uh, like a chopper or like those characters don't get the character element in the story that Jinbei gets, but then Jinbei is not there. So yeah. I think I'm just annoyed, and I get that. But at the yeah. same time, I think there's but I don't there's get reasons. The, yeah, I don't get the disregard for him. Like he, he had that epic special Luffy when it's Ace weird. died. You and know, also, he saved Luffy. The the and also giving Luffy thing, blood. Jinbei's whole character is like a big piece of like social criticism basically like his yeah. whole character is about racism in the end so all right and i personally i love i love jimbei but Shit. like i, I love jimbei here all right yeah there's the questions that's the show we've only made it through all the questions oh we get a lot of questions christian especially yeah. this last that month's been crazy that was a lot of questions shout outs to mr morge and o'hara for turning <laughs> up for being here this long o'hara Thanks, made it through guys all right, Morge, I made it through Morge, Morge didn't Boy's have the stamina, all right? Morge didn't have the stamina. <laughs> That's all right. The all man right. has to produce more more and better content. He's uh, <laughs> been at it lately. Yeah. All right. Probably been pushing out. out that content. Uh, go subscribe to the Morge and, o and O'Hara's YouTube channel. 
They do a podcast, a wine report, a bi weekly or is it bi monthly? It's monthly, monthly, I think, isn't it? It's like bi whenever we have time. See, there's no no, there's no schedule, all right, to this podcast. All right, just happens. They just just do it every week. We're here. Every week we're here. We don't ignore the people. We do it for them every week. All right, there (laughs) you go. There you go. All right, that's dedication. Uh, Subscribe to our show. uh, Rate, subscribe, review. Christian's all. Christian's not usually this negative. He's just upset this week. I'm just upset this week. Next week, I'm sure I'll be last. Go watch last week's episode. And I'm very happy last week. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, go go read my webtoon. New chapter came out. Enjoy that. You can find it in the description. Shout out. Uh, Shout out to the Patreon people. And uh, Shakespeare's the God King.